Are we rocking and rolling? Are we rolling and rocking? Mm -hmm. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Okay. There we go. Now we're good? Yep. Welcome back! Zooming around the tab for the snowman's jacket. <laughs> Leave <it> my post. <laughs> yeah, Allison already gets enough trouble from her family. I feel I feel sad. I feel sad for the way they 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 say things like, "You have enough." <laughs> That's, that's, no. <laughs> Have you had enough food? No. <laughs> All right, here's our tab. We're going to leave these two little gaps here, our little gap here, um, left open to turn out, and we're going to try and make a nice sharp point that way and a sharp point this way. We're going to make ourselves a little tab for our snowman. I'm just watching so yeah unless there's something I can't live without <laughs> I, was, I was hoping for scissors <laughs> I'd like a couple different sizes Found or is it just me do you have sound? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh. All right. Mm -hmm. She sounded all right. Where is she? What, whoa. What, whoa, what's going on? You have sound too? Okay, all right. I thought maybe for a second there we, we didn't and I did something wrong. That was Owie. We hear you? Oh, I'll try and put, oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the feedback. I thought maybe we didn't have, didn't have sound. Sound the alarm! All right. Oh, we'll do one more stitch. There we go. Now we need to leave that little gap in between. We're turning out the back stitch so we don't rip it. <coughs> well, Kathy Quilts, Happy New Year to you too. It has been a great day so far. A little gray. And we're about, the sun is about to set. It's going to get dark here soon. Very soon. Doesn't usually take much past 4.30. So. And you had no sound for the ad either. I'll shut down and start over. Okay. Uh-oh. Sorry. Sorry, Miss Gwenny. She can't even hear me. Don't have enough fabric, but can't afford to shop on so yeah, and this, and they stream really late for the yeah they, they well <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm 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 on the east coast and I feel like they stream stream late for me, but you know just I'm a, I'm early to bed. I barely make it to eight nine o'clock most nights, so it's just it's not who I am. But I'm up early. I'm usually up between you know six and five thirty and six and stuff. So that's usually my quiet time. That's my that's my time to, to, to putter around. It's me and Lofi time. All right, now we're going to take this and turn it right side out. It's our little, little tab. And we want to actually probably clip off that little sharp corner there. And maybe right there where it got joined on. And then we'll turn it out. <coughs> I just want to make sure my mic gets plugged in for a little bit so we're good till the end of the stream. Mm, right now for their 12 hours. Okay, so they're three, three hours. Okay, gotcha. So they're going to go till 
So from noon to midnight, that's what they're going to do. Wow. So it's be three in the afternoon to three in the morning for me. I will not make it to the end, I assure you. <laughs> but it will pop in. It will pop in after we finish streaming at, uh, at 9 p.m. Because they'll be halfway through their stream at that point. So. I wonder why I didn't have. I don't know why you didn't have sound either, Gwenny. I was kind of confused. I was like, uh oh, what's going on here? Why doesn't Gwenny have sound? Of course, then I'm talking to you and you can't hear me. So that's like, hello. Mm -hmm. It'll be 11 for you. I'll go over after this stream. There you go, Gwen. Thanks. Help, help support the boys. They usually got, they got good numbers. And they're pretty entertaining, so. Because I'm usually lurking. I don't usually say much. This is the tab that goes on the jacket. I'm just trying to make sure I'm building it out properly. And we need a little bit of black Velcro uh, for this, but that's okay. No worries. We can we can figure that out. Okay. All right. So there's the tab. Where's the tab? Here we go. Mm, together, stitch around, leave an open. Da, 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 trim right. Uh, turn on the corners of the opening and press. With the front of the jacket closed, center the tab at the neckline and pin at the left panel only. Okay. Where's our, where's our dude? Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Shouldn't I have to seal that up first though? It just said to press. I feel like I gotta seal it up. Jeggings. Hold on. Top stitch all around the tab. Okay, there we go. With the front of the jacket closed, center the tab. Okay, on the left side. So let's let's do it like we were dressing them. Dressing our little snowman. Dressing up our snowman. Making him a kill on jackets. Hello, Jackie. Happy New Year. Okay. But the shipping costs were off the scale. Really? Oh, see, that's what I'm always afraid of. It's almost cost as much as the product I bought uh, is in my shipping. So it's kind of like, eh. Those are those choices you got to try and make, right? I figure it's... A yes or a no. Okay. Just trying to get the little armpit section to sit a little bit smoother. Okay. So if this was the front of me and we would want it on this left side. So it's going to be the stitch thing. Okay, so it sits near the collar. Is that what it was? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. With the neckline, yeah, right at the neckline. Okay. Why are you laying there, Sophie? She's like literally laying right there on like. She's a crazy dog. Very hot, thirty-nine in Melbourne. Oh no! Oh no! Well, our heater just popped on. <laughs> Looking at sales on sites I usually buy from. Yeah, well, usually it's now's a good, now's a good time to start looking. That's when I bought when Craftsy was a half decent company, and you can buy kits and stuff from them. I would look right after Christmas and go and buy the kits that were like 50, 40, 60, 70 percent off, and stock up on those and give them as giveaways or work on projects or make quilts and sell them and so on and so forth. Lunch was amazing. It was a really good burger. Pop did a fantastic job on making them and Munchkin did an awesome job on barbecuing. That's the first time he's used that barbecue. 
maybe even the first time, no, it's not the first time he has barbecued, but definitely using that barbecue. So that was nice. It was really nice. Did a good job. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 um, The tab should extend from the left panel of the jacket, top stitched all the way over tab. tab okay. So it's going to go there. Okay. Let's make sure. Cute little picture. Looks like we're good to go. Okay. And well and dark. I bet it is. I bet it is. Yeah, we have a little chipmunk friend that's been uh, giving Sophie the chase around in the shop <laughs> in a couple of days. It was, it was funny, actually. It was funny watching her try to figure out where the chippy went. You should ship to me, then in the summer I can cross the border and mail it to you. <laughs> I enjoyed buying from Craftsy too when it was a half decent company, Allison. Like we got those the big star, what was it, the Blazing Star quilt together? Um, uh, there was there was such a lots of beautiful kits. Um, we did them as member projects. We did them as live streams. So yeah, and I've been looking for a, a, a company like that again, but I can't. So yeah, I can handle the U.S. dollar exchange and shipping from So Yeah, and still get get it cheaper than I can here, but it's Canada Customs that gets me, yeah, yeah, 40 bucks extra, yeah. Well, that's why, you know, when people were uh, sending stuff up to us or sending things to us, and if they weren't marking it as a gift, I was getting charged duty. So... Oh, oh, he must have heard me talking about his burger making. Yeah. Burger make or burger barbecuing, burger barbecuing. Sorry, get that straight. Burger barbecuing. Yeah, you did a good job. Did a very good job. Okay. Oh, Margaret, welcome, welcome. Happy New Year to you too. Ever buying crafts from White Rose Nurseries? Mm, no, I don't even I don't even know what White Rose Nursery is. What was what's the company out here or it used to be in Ontario or was in Ontario? Uh, Mary Maxim. They had lots of doodags and thingamabobs and whatchamacallits, lots of cross stitch and needlepoint and yarns and, and, and craft crafty things. All sorts of crafty things for sure. Mary Maxim, yeah. I used to love walk, walking through or flipping through one of those magazines. Yeah, that was that was some, oh my goodness, I like that. Oh my goodness, that's a great idea. Oh, look at that. That'll help tidy the crafts room. <laughs> you still get catalogs, really? I'll have to look them up and see if they got any good sales or something. Especially for the, well, not that I need any cross-stitch stuff, but maybe a couple patterns or something or, or uh, I don't know. I don't know. Really? Oh. They have such good stuff, man. They have good stuff. And good ideas for storage, too. So. All right, there's our little tab on. And don't worry about those little stitches. They're just our stabilizing stitches. Okay, sorry. I forget, I forget what camera you're on. Oh, online only U.S. now. Oh, really? Was it a Canadian company or was it always an American company, but they were up here as well? Up here in the great white north. Look at his cute little jacket. Oh my goodness. This is where we need the black Velcro is to put that on. So, but that's okay. It's not a, it's not a gonna make or break the situation when you're going. So, um, so got the tab done. Uh, da -da -da. uh, so a button to the front of the tab extension. Oh, I didn't dig out my buttons. I don't know where my buttons are. That's okay. Um, Pin pocket to the right. Okay, we've got to make the pocket. Make the pocket. Place corner sides of the fabrics together. Okay. Getting a new sewing machine on Wednesday. It's a brother. Don't ask me which model. I've already forgot. <laughs> I 
I hear you, girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, it's not a very expensive one, though it's expensive in my body. Well, uh, to me, anything over a couple hundred bucks is expensive, so, you know. Online for you. Interesting. I'll have to take a look. I'll have to go take a look. Because they always had some really good stuff, man. Really good stuff. Okay, pin at the corners. Hold on. Think about the place. Right. Please correct fab sides of fabric together. Stitch around the pocket. Bag leaving top open. Trim and turn to correct size. Okay. Pocket bag. Oh. Got yourself a pocket bag. Thank you very much, Margaret. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. We haven't ventured past pretty much the shop here, but it's nice to know that, you know, 80 acres in that direction plus the 10 we're kind of on and around are ours. So it's nice. It's nice to know. Got a little something, little something to call our own. Got a little, little planet Earth. <laughs> her, 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 hold on. Her, shiners, her shiners, her shiners catalog. I'm going to have to look them up. Oh, is Lynn leaving? Is Lynn out of here? Be right, got it. Okay, enjoy. Enjoy, 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 enjoy. Back, she's back, she's back, she's back. I missed I missed your answer. How 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 is little Bastion? How how's the wee man? How's the wee cutie pie man? Haven't thought of them in years. Uh, Dorothy, it's gotta go. Uh, ba da ba da ba da. I'll have, to, I'll have to figure out. I mean, I've seen the name, and I'm just not recognizing it. Okay, James, have fun. Drive safe. A little floor heater. At least help with the flavor. Oh, I wish I could give you one of the ones we had left over. So, he's so cute and tiny. I bet he is. He's so little, little. So little, little. Oh, my goodness. So excited for you. All right, so all the way around. We want to back stitch that there too. Okay. Blast from the past. I'd have to look them up, Deanne, because I don't really remember remember them or what it, what I what I would want for. Thank you, Mary. I appreciate that. It's the blue block of the month for last year. Kathy's back. -na 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 -na. Kathy's back. Okay, now we popped our pocket out. We popped our pocket out. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Um, stitch around the pocket and trim and turn to correct side. Turn and press one quarter inch at opening a pocket bag. Trim and press under, or turn and press under a quarter inch top stitch along the opening. Okay. Why would they want just to do that from the other side? No, I gotta, hold on, let me have to pop this out to go around. Nope, nope, that's not gonna help. All right, I'm heading off to bed. We'll catch you later. Take care, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you, Sylvia. You have yourself a fantastic sleep. Sweet dreams. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go for Sylvia. <laughs> She's got to go to sleep till tomorrow for Sylvia. She's going to say, stop singing a song about Sylvia. Kathy's got to go, too. I'm going to run for now. Be back later. Have fun. Bye, Kathy. See you later, bye Kathy. Catch you later, bye Kathy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lena's admitting she's a brat. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, don't, don't, don't leave. Anyone here from the southern states? There's a few. Yeah, 
I hear it's, it's, it's uh, a storm's running through Kentucky or around Kentucky. Makes me very nervous for my American friends when all these weird weathers go on. And Happy New Year to you there, Mary. Thank you very much for hanging out with us. And I was just kidding, Lena. Don't go nowhere. Oh, Cheryl from Indiana. Big hearts to you, too, there, girl. Big hearts to you, too. Hope you had a good New Year's. I made it to about 1030. <laughs> hey, that's better than the year before, I think. Hello from Mississippi. M I S S I S S I P P I Mississippi. All right, now we need to sew around the edge of this. Okay. Here from Kentucky says, Lady, go back. Tune. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Derby Racetrack. Yes, Happy New Year. Oh, oh, did I miss something? Uh, what would everyone suggest for a beginner pattern that doesn't take much fabric but still looks great? A uh, perfect example was right there is the nine patch. Nine patch, Gwenny's, Gwenny's, yeah, definitely. Um, and you can sash it. You can even do a four patch and sash it. You could just do a square and sash the square. Do a layer cake. Put a little sashing on a layer cake in a big 10 inch block. Put a little sashing on it. Next square. And that helps. It gives you a good learning perspective on, for one, adding a, a smaller strip to a bigger piece, and two, keeping those lines when you have your sashing going from row to row lined up, because you'll get your 10 inches from your from your layer cake pot, uh, size of fabric or whatever, and then and then you make sure you're pinning at the uh, the seams, and you're good to go. Yeah, definitely, definitely something easy like a nine patch, uh, a four patch, um, like or just a big single one. Yeah, well, that's it. That uh, some of those layer cakes are so beautiful, you don't want to cut them up. You want to see that nice big ten inch square of fabric because it's so intricate or whatever. It's my first quilt with nine patch block, and I tied it with ribbon. There you go, lovely, lovely. I came across one of the art pieces I made pop early on in our um, relationship. I think we were married at the time, uh, and it's all tied with yarn. It's all tied together with yarn. So it was a quilt at first, and then I turned it into a wall hanging because he liked it so much. He wanted to hang it up. So I was like, "Oh, okay." So we turned. I turned it, and then I made him a new quilt, which is one of the ones still on the bed today. So, which is really weird. It's been that long. Okay, I'm gonna try to turn this out a little bit this way. And scoot all the way around from seam to seam to seal up our little pocket edge, okay? Give her, give her a little pocket of hem. Oh, I should go up to three for the top stitching. I forgot about that. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Careful head and shoulders. <laughs> I love the light blue block behind you. Which one? We did them all. Each block is a month of last year's blue block of the month. So if there's a specific one you like, you can go to that month and watch me put the whole block together. Wind advisory. Oh, yeah, we had some winds... Uh, no, I think it was wind and rain not too long ago, but it, it kind of bypassed us. So. It went more um, Halifax uh, around us than, than, than us up here, us up here to PEI and stuff. Lasagna, <gasps> yummy. A few days ago, and sorry. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Billy. Speedy, speedy recovery, speedy recovery, Billy. Wishing you the healing, super duper healing thoughts. Sorry, my hands are going to be in the way. I'm, I'm it's kind of finicky, tiny little thing here. So, and I need to make sure it stays straight the best I can.
Yeah, speedy recovery. That's horrible knee surgery. I may have missed it, but did Pop finish his quilt, the green diamond one? Is that the one you were working on while I was on camping with Miss Miss Sandra? Oh, no, you were doing placemats or something, weren't you? Huh? Okay, here's our little pocket. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's a little pocket. Now we need to sew it onto our jacket. We need to figure out where he needs to go and then sew it on because a tree goes in it. <clears throat> if someone is asking for easy quilt to start on, please say a pattern without too many seams matching. You know, for sure, like, well, the nine patch, do you think that's too many? Or nine patch with sashing, do you think that's too many seams to line up there, Holly? Hello, Courtney, welcome to the chat. Happy New Year. Under tornado watch, Denise. Oh boy, oh boy, that's not good, that's not good. Gotta have cabbage and black eyed peas on New Year's Day. Money, wealth, and health in the New Year. I. N never have I ever. <laughs> I'm clearly missing out there, Cheryl. What's going on? Okay, so pockets on the right side. So how do we find where we got to stick this pocket? Pocket. Place correct sides of fabric together, blah, blah, blah. Pin pocket on right front of jacket. Tack into place at the top. Inside corners of the jacket packet, put the jacket on the snowman. So just tack it? Oh, whatever. Okay, well, where do we think you possibly are here, Mr. Snowman? Okay, so you're kind of near the front. <clears throat> you're a little up from the bottom. And you're kind of sticking up around the armpit. Okay, so tack at the corners. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Maybe I'll just stitch the back on. Just stitch it along here. Be back after that. Okay. That was my starter, and it was hell to make and match when you have no idea how to in the beginning. Oh, okay, okay. Real fence says only blocks. To match, not seams. That's true. That's a good one. That's a good one, Helly. I'm Miss uh, Miss Gwenny. Sorry. I need black eyed peas. I don't think of, I, I'm sure I've had black eyed peas. It's not really a something we grow in the backyard or in the garden or something. So bricks is perfect. Yeah, bricks is good. Do do do. Yeah, because then you, that seam is never never they're never touching. That's it. That's a good one there too. Mm -hmm. Oh, Carol, Happy New Year! My first was a log cabin. Wow, that's adventurous there, Joanne. <laughs> that's, I didn't try a log cabin for a while. That was like, that kind of, that kind of scared me. Alright, let's uh, do the little tacking that they want me to do. And then over here. Oops, 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 oops. Ripping up pins at the same time. Dork, dork. Okay. Officially tacked. Okay. Done. Floppy pocket, but tacked. Sort of. Maybe I should do a little bit more over there. That seems kind of really sweet. Oh, well. All right. Next. I'll put Jack on snowman. All right, let's dress him up. We're dressing you, Jack. We're dressing you up. You're a party man, Jack. Hold on, I need to put that over there. Yours also was a log cabin. Boy, look at you adventurous peoples. I don't know what she's doing over there, Lofi. I think she's on, like, chippy alert or something. <laughs> she kind of looks like she is, isn't she? <laughs> Give 
Dad's loving. All right, let's dress our dude. Let me hold your jacket for you while you get dressed, Mr. Jock. Well, thank you, Beverly. Thanks for hanging out with us. I appreciate it. Well, kind of got some poofy shoulders where I don't think you should have having poofy shoulders. And I think I might have put my bands on the wrong way because if they wanted you to fold it up a quarter, even though I thought I listened to them, yeah, she may have to go out. Hmm. There. A little Velcro and a little button. Looks like a penguin. <laughs> he, got he needs he needs some uh, weeded pellets for sure. But he's looking kind of cute. Looking kind of cute. Yep. Pop took Sophie out for her. Well, that was weird. Oh, that might have been the chippy. Could be up there. Because it's certain took off. He's cute. He's very cuddly. <laughs> very, very cuddly. Okay, so now it's the scarf, the hat, and the bird. And that's pretty much it, and the tree. So I got the scarf pretty much done. I just need to turn it right side out. So let's do that. Mm. I am committed to finishing up my log cabin UFO. There you go, the boozy. You got it. Got, uh, you, you, we make them, sometimes we don't finish them, we don't want to finish them, we get tired and we're like, eh, we lose inspiration or drive. But we got, it. If, we, if we want the new stuff, we got to work on the old stuff. And we are notorious, and we as in the royal, we all of us, are probably pretty notorious for starting stuff, just not finishing. So, and it's time to finish. Got to step it up. Mm. So whatever was outside or what have you scooted across here, honey. Yeah, I know. You heard it? I watched it. Well, it was a chippy? It was a chipmunk. It's a chippy? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was gone. It was like poof. <laughs> we need to find a new home for the chippy. <laughs> need to find chocolate. Need to find chocolate. Oh, it's right, right there. Yep. I wouldn't mind a piece. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to open the whole package. You know I won't eat it all. Oh, oh, you getting your stuff ready for your mix? Yeah, I got that out. Very well, nice. Should be sort of the Thanks, sweet. Ingredients. Okay. I'll put them in a small bag. Chocolate. And see what they have in. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm, Sophie's got a bone. Mm -mm. Sauerkraut and sausage. I'll take the sausage. I'm not a big fan of sauerkraut, though. It's kind of like you have to have the right sausage to go with the sauerkraut, really. Right, let's open this up and kind of poke those little corners out. Lucy B, how you be? Happy New Year. Wet Oxford. I heard you guys were having some unusually warm weather. And you had like the warmest, or at least parts of the UK is the warmest uh, New Year's ever. Ever, ever, ever. So, there we go. Pop his little scarf out. What, uh, the Trans Canada Trail. And how far from the house is it? Well, we could see it, so it's maybe two acres away. I don't know. I don't know as in distance-wise. We haven't walked it yet. So it's the trans Canada Trail. It goes right into Picto, uh, Nova Scotia itself. Yeah, and then you can see where, kind of where, where, uh, 
we are in line to that and see that the water is just like right across right across the the, the land. <laughs> oh June, welcome, welcome, welcome. Can you please say hello to my husband? He swears you are not talking to me. Of course I am, Susie. Who else am I talking to? You tell him to get in front of the camera right now. Or I'll talk to him. Okay. <laughs> I'll give him some words. <laughs> like, hello, and how are you? And happy new year. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> I totally am the boozy. I'm totally talking to you. And your husband now. Hmm. I see you. I see you questioning her, thinking she's a little, mm -mm, she not. She not. No. Well, maybe a little bit, but we won't. We won't talk about it, okay? We don't talk about that in public. <laughs> mm hmm Fifty-five. Wow, that seems pretty warm. I was raised in the Midwest, but Korean. So we have beef soup with flat rice noodles for the meal. Oh, that sounds delicious, Emily. I'd totally be all over that. <laughs> I don't know, Gwenny. <laughs> well, that's what I mean, Deanne, right? Right? We're all a little. <laughs> Licking the batteries. No, don't do that. I was walking the dogs yesterday and today it's minus eight with the wind chill. Brrr. No thanks. No thanks. So did he believe you? Hey, the boozers. <laughs> did he believe you? <laughs> or with it off beat. <laughs> A little off kilter? <laughs> yeah, it's the own beat. Ooh, yeah, you're gonna enjoy that now. Put it, put on the Sophie cam. You want to go watch her eat her little snack? Yeah, you get you get Sophie time now. Hmm? There you go. Sophie's enjoying a little snack. She's getting a treat too. Okay, well, everybody's getting a treat. I'm not allowed to have the volume up on my iPad with, with the family during your videos. They think you're the mad Canadian woman. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I say no. Everybody else clearly has a different opinion. <laughs> Maybe you're all crazy. Hmm? You ever think of that? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, clip the corners, turn the correct side, press the slip stitch, opening close, and slip stitch, opening close. Oh, so don't, don't sew it. Okay. Okay. Pay attention. Mm -mm. Am I out of tea? No, no. Tell him I was just kidding. If he's giving you trouble right now, there, the boozers. Uh, I was just, I was just joking. I, ask anybody around here. Never take me serious. Well, to a point. I mean, like, come on. Ser serious business on some regards. Not so serious business on other regards. Life is short, you gotta have fun. I just don't want them disappearing because, you know. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, we may be a little crazy, but we're polite about it. <laughs> we say please and thank you, and sorry <laughs> for, for being too crazy. <laughs> Mm 
You hi, Sophie. That bone looks really good. <laughs> Dare I ask? What else? Oh, I'm putting. Uh, hold on. I'm putting Jack Jack Snow together. Hold on. I will show you. Un momento. Un momento. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome, the boozy. Anytime. I'm here till uh, ten o'clock of uh, 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 Atlantic tonight. Okay. Here we go. Jack Snow. Okay. Here we go. And we have him done so far to this point. So he's almost there. He's almost there. We just got his hat and his bird. His bird to do. Okay. And now we need to whip stitch. I was going to uh, top stitch this down. Uh, but we're now we're going to whip it. Whip it good. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Mm. Whip it good. Whip the stitch. Mm -mm. Whip the stitch. Mm -mm. Whip, whip. I had chocolate. Oh my gosh. Whip the stitch. I'm not crazy. He is cute. He's totally adorable. I'm totally adorable. And so is the loafy who's looking for the chippy. <laughs> she had a chippy escape. Well, I was in here the other, I guess it was Tuesday. Yeah, no, Wednesday, Wednesday wasn't too bad. I had the electric heaters going. Uh, is it Tuesday or Thursday? No, I didn't come in here Tuesday. I came out and found it was cold and then got mad because I thought we used 400 liters of propane, but we didn't. It, the machine had shut off. There was something wrong with the board, something on the main board or whatever. So that was annoying. I'm watching with earbuds. I, do, I can't with earbuds. Oh my gosh, I swear. Uh, in the, I'm watching with the earbuds in the laughing out loud. Hubby is asking what's so funny. Just said this woman is hilarious. <laughs> I totally love watching your video. Oh, thank you, Stitch. <laughs> uh oh. You want to talk about trouble? Well, that's very funny. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> hey, Joel. See, I pop in and see how the snowman's going. He's pretty good. Check him out. Jack's happening. That's adorable. He is looking pretty cool. I like his jacket. He's like pretty spiff and niff then. Pretty snazzy. Pretty snazzy. He's got a cute little pocket for his tree when we get the tree all done. Mm-hmm. Very nice. I like it. I like it. Sucking spiffy and niffy. Happy New Year, everyone. They're talking to you, not me. My time's over. <laughs> My time's up. It's all you. You're you're, you're good till ten, right? Yeah. Good, good five hours. <laughs> and uh, lots of positive responses to us doing a stream that has nothing to do with. I, I was watching. Oh, you were. Oh, what do you think of that? Uh, pretty cool, eh? Nice. We got plans now. I know plans now. Thanks, peeps. Maybe catch us on a couple of Sunday afternoons or Sunday morning. Oh, hi. Oh. It's, it's apparently it's a family gathering. We just need pop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we got all of us here. <laughs> hey, hey, Sofa Lopes. Sofa Lopes. Hey. Watch the <laughs> oh, thanks. I got the kisses. I got the kisses. We are staying in the house today. It is windy and cold here. I have my little heater on. The doggy door is is in my room. And the doggy door? On the doggy door. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Anything can happen, Stringy. There you go, Lise. That's a good one. That's a good one. Because <laughs> Bob joined the picture when Sophie has to go watch the computer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's got to control. She's got to control the live stream. Oh, she's chewing on her stick again, so there we go. I, I had run out here to see if I could let her out and uh, he, she, see how... She was already out, wasn't she? Yeah, Dad, oh. Dad said as much. Yeah, she just went out. Yeah, she didn't want to go out with me when we did the switch over from the 3 o'clock to the second stream. I will appear again later. 
Oh, okay. You've been forewarned, people. He will appear again later. <laughs> Happy New Year all the way from England, says Lucy B. Lovely fit. Oh, thank you, Laura. We'll keep them. All this time invested so far, we'll keep them. <laughs> Love ya. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all huffy puffy. Huffy puffy. Hmm. When did you want to head inside? So 5.30 our time? Probably, yeah. Okay. Well, the oil can be preheating it. No, you have to use that table section. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, so in about half an hour, Pop will be cooking or doing stuff in the kitchen. Oh, how's that going? Good, thank you. Sorry, Lisa B. Uh, Munchkin distracted me. I apologize, I did see your question. It is going very well. It's, just, it's, it's having its moments. <laughs> uh, we actually were struggling with heat again in the shop because the panel went, so it was a little too chilly out here to be working. So, um, did it close? No, I didn't. Not all closed yet. So now it's all fixed, and this is my heater. It's not going anywhere. It'll be so much nicer. Yeah, we had the something on the panel went on the or the board of the last heater and it shut off. And we just had 400 liters of propane put into it like seven days beforehand. So I'm like, did we seriously use 400 liters of propane? Trying to heat this little shop of 20 by 40? Are you kidding me? No, it, something went on the panel. Hello, Mira. How you doing? Mira, Mira. <laughs> Thank you, Margaret Stevens. Love you, too. <laughs> my BF from high school lives in Hutch. I grew up in L Larned. Larned. My family is in Neodesha. I live in California. I miss a lot of it back there. Uh, where was Courtney from? I'm going to miss that. How you doing? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Kansas. Gotcha. Kansas. I just didn't recognize the, the names of the places. So I was like, well, I don't recognize any of those. Hutchins. Oh, okay. Hence the Hutch. Uh, if you're a local, you can call it by its shortened name. <laughs> Hutch. All right. Now... I think this is where we can we can we can tie the scarf around them. I think because we only got the hat, do, do, do. the hat and the bird to do. So he'll be easy peasy after that. Shouldn't take that long, that's for sure. Oh, Kathy's got to go. Got to go cook burgers. Nice hanging out. Talk with some big hugs. Big hugs, Kathy. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, loosely around the neck, placing it slightly to the snowman's left side. Okay. All right, Mr. Snowman. Mr. Snowman, you're so cute and adorable. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Aren't you just the handsomest settler I ever did see? Are you free tonight? Mm, aren't you so cute? No, <laughs> you should not be worried. <laughs> Look at him. Is he cute? My new dancing partner. It only lasts until things heat up and then he's out. 
get it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm not explaining nothing. <laughs> He's a handsome dude, isn't he? You want to go out and uh, catch a few drinks later? <laughs> my, my little friend. Okay, um, with the crack sides of the fabric together, join the center back seam of each brim piece and stitch. Okay, so let's work on the hat. First, let's stitch around, or cut around there, because I believe we have to. I would think so. Might make him hot chocolate. <laughs> so he's gonna leave a puddle and then he's out. Oh, leave a mess. No. Hey, quieter than the last heater. So. And with three space heaters going, I could barely even hear myself think. That was that was a bit much. Mm -hmm. Yes, welcome to the channel there, Courtney. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, does he get it? Yeah, yeah, Mimi. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Key does. does, does. He gets that working on right now. Hat and a bird. Hat and a bird. Soon we're gonna put the two brim pieces together, so at least that would be my guess. Okay. Okay. With correct sides of the fabric together, join the center back seam of each brim piece and stitch. So join the center back seam, which would be. Well, I don't know what's the back seam. What? How would it know? The hat. Mm. Looks like that's the front, so oh, interesting. Okay. Just make sure he wasn't on the iron there. Mm, on the outer edge, with the. Hold on. Join the two brim pieces by stitching around the outer edge. Trim, turn the correct side, and press. Mm. I think that means that. <laughs> that doesn't look right. Why does it not look right? Hold on. Holy on so it just says join the center back seam of each brim piece and stitch but then in the next line it says join the two brim pieces by stitching around the outer edge trim and turn join the center back seam of each Brim piece and stitch. I don't, I don't think they go together that way, right? I think they would go together this way. Oh well, we're gonna live and learn here. You sure it is the, the back seam? This little guy here? The corner here? Okay, so do the small pieces, do the small guy, and then do the big guy. Thank you, Lucy B. That was extremely helpful. Separately? Looks like one unit there, though.
Okay. So you're saying do this here. And then do the outside edge. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm listening. I'm listening, Lucy B. So I was kind of thinking that. The straight bit here. Ha 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 ha. So, so join the center back seam and work the Join the two brim pieces by stitching around the outer ridge joint. Okay, okay, so just stitch here. So just stitch here. And then we'll put them together. Uh, catching flies? I don't know what she's doing. She's sniffing. <laughs> Can you see her? <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Thank you, Lucy. Appreciate it. It's always nice to have fresh eyes on the situation. <laughs> so I had kind of lost my sewing mojo. I even had last weekend to sew and didn't. Today with you, I have completed nine out of 36 blocks and have several in different stages. Well, nice! Way to go, Sherry! Good jobbins. Good job. What? I hope I'm correct. I, hey, you know what? If not, I know the seam ripper and I'm not too worried about it. Honest to goodness. Sometimes instructions are bang on and I understand them and some instructions are extremely vague. And I'm just flying by the seat of my pants. Okay? So that kind of makes sense because of the shape of the hat, right? And then you would think you'd put those together to create the thick brim, right? And then we got our little band and then our top. So, um, but a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. Stay stitch the inner circle of the brim and stay stitch the double notched edge of the crown from the edge. That's the, the crown? Yeah, that's the hat crown. Okay, let's. Two brim pieces by stitching around the outer edge. So we've got to st stitch around the outer edge. Okay. Yes, I understand it now, and it's written now reading it again. It makes sense, but I appreciate the, the help there, Lucy. Anybody else who tried to help, and I may have missed it. Yeah, thank you, June. Thank you, June. I appreciate, I appreciate the feedback. I really do. I don't know everything. I see snow snakes. <laughs> yeah, line up the seams and sew around the out. Yeah, all those little marks. All those little marks, marks. Definitely. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it very much. Happy New Year, Josie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the chat. I'm just splitting the seams, just splitting them, and then making sure my, my seam is uh, lined up to each other. Yeah, there's there's flies in the shop, but they're they're not like the annoying black flies or anything like that. I forget there's another name for the fly, um, and uh, we need to we need to get them sprayed. We need to spray for those, unfortunately, so they don't just keep reproducing and reproducing. Almost there. So wing mojo, yeah, yeah, we all lose it. We all do. We don't wanna, that was me. I lost my cross stitch mo mojo for years. So, sorry I'm late, had to give the dog a bath. <laughs> oh, playing in the mud, yikes, 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 yikes. Well, as long as you had fun, that's all that matters. Mm 
we had cluster fly. I think that's what it is. Maybe that's it. I don't know. They just kind of live in the rafters and stuff like that. We noticed them in the house too. So I'm like, uh, uh, I know my friend Sandra, she's got those at her place. She lives near the, uh, she's got like um, a wetlands, seven acres of wetlands on her property. So I think it has something to do with them as well. Or that as well. So, and they, they, she told me that they have to get sprayed for that every year or two times a year, one in the spring and one in the fall or something like that. So I'm like, oh, I never even knew. I never even knew about, you know, spraying for such things or that there was a different type of fly. Well, yeah, she, we got her when we first moved here. We, we got her a new bed. We got her two new beds, one for the house and one for out here. And then she still has her, her chair, her um, time machine. And now it's all black outside. Now it's all black outside. Okay. Uh, mm. Mm. Just by stitching around the outer edge. Trim, turn to the correct side and press. Stay stitched the inner circle of the brim. Clip. Okay, so let's make sure I got the, the all the hat bits first. Try to make sure that there's no white. Oh, we're trying to stitch it together. I think we're good. We're good there. Just got our uh, stable, uh, sta stabilizing stitches. Okay. Mm. Okay, so let's trim. Let's trim this first, and then we'll put it out and then press it. So I know we got everything now, so we can we can do some trimming. Do 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 do. Mm, no see images, gnats, fruit fly size. Uh, they're, they're, it's like a regular fly fly. They're just annoying. Well, they're not buzzy annoying. They just like to land, especially on warm things. When they're cold, they are, always end up going to my teacup. Mm -hmm. Box of clear fly tape to use on windows. I think she gets them at Walmart. Interesting. Clear fly tape. Okay, let's give a little clippage. Hello, Hildy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How big did you make your jerry jimmy? I think the average, because the I go by the average of what they of um, a cult of valor or a little bit smaller. So sixty by seventy, fifty by seventy, you know, something like that. Mm. Mm. Is it, and I have a son that is an invalid right now and could be myself. Oh, no. Girls, I made wine-soaked cranberry jam this morning. Oh, wow. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. A hole in your lip. Uh oh, did you spill? <laughs> it's usually what I say when I've spilt all over myself. Oh, you're welcome, Dolores. I'm glad you're going to be making some charity quilts. Or at least thinking about it, anyways. Maybe with a group, group of, a, a, a gang of ruffians, fabric ruffians. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, tea all over, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Actually, I did that with tomato soup this week. I put the, the big spoon right up to my lip and went like this, and it went down my chin, off my shirt, onto my sweater, and I literally had just changed sweaters because I was doing the dishes, or changed T-shirts because my, my T-shirt got wet when I was doing the dishes, so it was a brand-new shirt. <laughs> I was really mad. <laughs> I was like... 
can't take me out. You can't dress me up. You can't do anything. <laughs> okay, now stay stitched. Okay, stay stitch the inner circle of the brim together. Okay, so let's put our little seams together, making sure they're going to stay together. We'll just put them in that little mark spots where those little marks are, where we're going to line up our crown. Or hat crown. Hat crown. So excited. Do we stuff the hat? I think we stuffed the hat. Nothing better than a stuffed hat. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I should need a sippy cup. <laughs> I've thought of it. That would have been just too hot to sip tea. I don't know about you, but it seems too hot for me. All right, so let's do 3.0 for the stitching. Okay, we just want to make sure the two are staying together. So we're just kind of pretty much hugging the black line of where the, the hat starts, right? The brim of the hat there starts. I'm sure, I'm sure my hands are in the way and I'm sorry. I'm trying to do little finicky works. Uh, uh, well, I've met the neighbors. It's not like I'm going out standing at the end of the street saying, hi, I'm new here. Um, I, c I could do that if I'm getting a little lonely. Uh, I've already told people I would, so. <laughs> hi, I'm new here. I'm Laura Lynn. <laughs> she can stand out there. Why not? Hi, how are you? <laughs> um, okay. Okay, well here, let's do the little clip-ins. Who wants us to do the clip-ins? Just a little bit. Just gotta clip it a little bit. Keep it all together. Crazies. I'm really walking, have you in my ears. Here we go. Okay, get her done. Get her done, Miss Allison. Um, stay stitch the double notches edges of the crown a quarter inch from the edge. Clip to just below the stay stitch line. Join the center back seam, correct sides together, and stitch. Okay, so they said the double ones, right? The double notched edge. Okay, let's do that. We'll do a little stitch over and cut. Just those ones, okay. <laughs> I know, right, Diane? <laughs> Never enough fabric. And don't you tell me I have enough fabric. I'll tell you I have enough fabric. <laughs> Which would never be. <laughs> Uh, dictate the sizes they need for charity quilts. Others serve whole families and can use all sizes. Check whether they are donating. That's a great tip there, Gwenny. I wasn't even thinking about that. Great, great, great tip. Yeah, because some, some do require a certain size. That's right. Okay, I am going to try and pin the back of this the, or the brim of this or whatever, the hat, um, with it lining up the best I can. Okay, so it looks like it's slightly this way. It looks like the may have shifted as it got printed. <laughs> yeah, keep keep justifying that. <laughs> All right, there we go. And so, oh, turn it to a smaller stitch. Three, two point zero. Okay, clip 
to just the little fishy one and then this one goes back over. Oh, 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 hold on. I guess I gotta click a little bit. Okay. And here, here, and here. Okay. Now, what's it say? Join the center back seam, correct sides together, and stitch. Join the center back seam. Right sides together. I hope so. And stitch. Is that going to be this one? This one? if I can get this all the way around here. <coughs> What's Pop doing over there? What is it? I honestly can't tell. It's going to be yours to do. Be mine. Oh. But we're always going to have this one right here. Oh, Penny's got to go. Okay, bye, Penny. Hello, Bernadette. Have a good night. Had a lovely day with you. Oh, happy New Year to you, too. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out with us today. It was lovely of you to share your time. I would greatly appreciate it. Mm. All right. I think we're, we're making our way here. We're putting our double notches where the double notches need to be. We're lining things up. And we're going to have ourselves a cute little hop hat. Or a cute little Jack the Snowman. A buttload second hand? Just needs to be more house. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I upgraded to a 20 by 40 shop just to accommodate the fabric and batting stash. <laughs> I was slowly taking over the other rooms. Oh, yeah, I was already in the closet of the hallway. I was in the bedroom, the closet in the bedroom, closet of the office, uh, closet of the front hall where the, 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 the freezer was. <laughs> I was everywhere. I was, I was, I got myself everywhere in the house. So it was kind of like, eh, well, maybe it's time to move the business out of the house. Have a living room and dining room. Yeah, the guys that were doing the work, they were like, you don't have much furniture. <laughs> then it was to explain to them of why we don't have much furniture. <laughs> like no dining room table, no chairs, no couch, no... No lazy boys, no, you know, anything like that, that normally you would expect people to move with, right? <laughs> like, no, they're on order, they're coming. <laughs> it's just, it's going to take, they said it was going to take like uh, six weeks to get here, so. Cut part cardboards. Uh, 7 by 11 and double fold towards the salvage and wrap around the board then the fabric bolts stand together and I see everything even yeah you can see the color too and if there's a pattern on it you know you, you, you know how you can match it up with other fabrics and stuff like that so that's a great way to store it great way to store it um, okay pin and pin size together the clip crown what curve to the top uh, okay we do the brim first that's what we're doing how much it Stitch. Stitch, I will. And then we'll do the top. And then it's pretty much stuff it and stick it on. And then there's the bird, which is easy enough. So let's finish the hat before Pop wants to get into the kitchen and prep our dinner stuff. And then while he's in there, we may put me still out here, but in the... S no, you need, you need you with the picture in the picture. I am going to add some uh, binding to one of our very first uh, tree skirts that I did. And I will show that to you as soon as I buy, um, sew this. So. I'm trying to sew it at a... Urgh. It's kind of hard. How do you get it under the machine without being persnickety? It's just very, very carefully. Okay. 
Now we're going to go around slow. And hopefully we caught everybody in the potty. All right, my, my fingers, they are going to be in the way. I need to lift my foot, shift my little project, because we are stitching on the inside of that circle. It is very narrow and very small. Try to make sure things are sitting flat. We don't want to sew over our pin heads or pins at all. Sewing over pin heads just causes you anguish and you want to cry. We're getting there, folks. Cue the heater. <laughs> one on the floor. Oh, stuck to my sweater. Okay, see how well I did that time. Okay. Oh, I think we did pretty spiffy. Oh my gosh, isn't that just the cutest? Oh, you can see the double notches there. I can always black marker that out though, if I feel it's going to be bothering me. I think we're stitched around and we're looks, it looks good. I think we're just going to keep it that way. That looks adorable. And it's got a little, little top hat here to go on. Easy enough. Okay, I will show you the... Hold on here. Plugged for a moment. Oh, oh here it is. Our little elf and our bear that we've worked on, just very similar to the project we got going on here. This was I, it's still not bound. Still not bound. It's 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 quite quite a while. <laughs> that was one of my small tree skirts that we made, just by using scraps of these, these penguin pajamas. I made a bunch for my nieces one year or for Christmas and had some funky material it had a couple little tiny little stains on it so i just you did it as the back and uh yeah just a super easy plain one wrap my brain around trying to do a tree skirt to begin with and use some of my scraps and just had fun that was the whole point of having some fun so i did um surge around some of it and then I didn't like the way it looked so I trimmed it and I'm gonna bind it so I did surge it though so I'll work on that while Pop's making the chicken stuff so be, be super fun yeah so he's gonna look awesome with this cute little hat he's gonna be a dapper a dapper jack there Super cute. Oh my gosh. And then we got a tree here that gets popped in his little pocket. Super easy. I know, he looks great, doesn't he? He turned out pretty good. He turned out pretty good. He almost stuffed his little hat. We'll give him some a little bit of little character. But he totally looks adorable. Some marshmallows in the pocket. <laughs> Chocolate. His broom. Oh, he didn't have a broom. I'll have to get it. I'll have to make him one. I got I got branches. I got branches outside. I could do that. I know. He's pretty adorable. Isn't he? Mm, 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 mm. 
Making this year. Fin yeah, I thank you, Deanne. I appreciate that. Pop was like, that's it? And I'm like, we, I, we need to get on the UFOs. It's part of sewing. It's part of the whole craft. It's part of finishing things you start. You know, you can't keep collecting things and not have them done. And then you just go, oh, in a bag. Oh, look, I did that. And it's only three quarters done. Or, oh, look, I started that. I, you know, only need this that's left on it, right? So, yeah. Super cute. Yeah, I'll put the, uh, maybe we'll finish him up after or we'll, I'll finish him up while the chicken's happening. But isn't he adorable? adorable. I'm, I'm just going to, he's be so cute. So cute. Yeah, just a couple things to do. That's it. Okay. Super easy peasy. Can't believe it's already four. Well, four thirty Eastern, but five thirty our time already. My goodness. Time flies when you're having fun. Ba -dum -ba -dum. See now it says in his pot or look in his pocket that looks like the tree is actually looks like a tree shape. So, but on here it has it as a square, or like a, as a rectangle. So I don't know. What should I do? Should I trace around the tree and make it a tree, or should I just make it the, the square and the square fits in the pocket? Mm, there you go, Courtney. Awesome. Yeah, I'm just as guilty, Allison, just as guilty, especially when now packing the stuff and unpacking the stuff and looking for things. I add a lot. So it's like, get, kick yourself in the boom, mm, get her done. Yep, the tree. Go around the tree, Elizabeth? You think so? Just go around the tree so it makes it look like a tree? Okay, I'll do that then. I'll do that. Because I can see it. I can see it. And I'll do that and then cut it and then tr trim it and turn it right side out and poke out the corners and stuff. That's good. I was thinking, why would they do that? So, Stitch around the tree shape? Yeah. Yeah. As sure as it will fit. Yeah. Definitely. No, Karen McKenzie. Thank you. It's 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 a work in progress. Need new windows behind me, um, and some free images and stuff. And and we got to get the floor spray foamed underneath. And uh, it's it's baby steps, but we're we're making it happen. We're doing it. We're making it happen. Yeah, I have a lots of from a couple years actually there, Mimi Howard. So let's, let's start it. Got to finish it. Let's, let's get this year of finishing up some stuff, tidying up our life, and, and doing that. So, you ready, Chachi? No, but yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll give Pop a minute or two to get into the kitchen. Uh, but you're going to tell me. <laughs> Hold on, let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. So, oh, really? Five? Yes, because that's camera five. So, I'm going to go five mm -hmm. and on. And off. Yes. Okay. When I see you get there. Yes. Okay. And I and and are you going to be talking to your Mikey so I can hear yeah, you I'll like I was mic. it was earlier? Yep. Okay. I'll have All right. Mic okay. okay. All right. Let me just say bye to the peoples till you get in there. I'll talk to the peoples, <laughs> and then I'll see you on the little on the TV when you get in there, and then we'll change it over. So around the tree and trim before turning. Yes, I think I was going to do that too, Lucy. Yeah, I think that I think that would look the best. I think that would look the best. Um, talking about earplugs, I can't wear anything in my ears, like anything physically in here. What like the all the latest uh, Bluetooths and iPad phone or you know the pods things. They do not stay in my ears. They they go boop, boop. They pop out. They just fall out, and I don't. I don't quite enjoy things in my ears. I don't mind something over, like a headset. I'm fine with a headset that covers all my ears. Um, but anything anything in just drives me crazy. I can't handle it. Lots of people use it for uh, for listening to books on tape or music as they stitch and stuff like that. Or they've got their TV through the headset so the TV's not bothering anybody. And they can sew and do, yeah. They just fall out. It drives me crazy, Ellie. And Pop has bought me a few pairs, and he's watched them. I'll go put them in, and he's even put them in. We've adjusted the size of the thingies because you get a few adjuster thingies. And they, poof, popped out, poof, popped out. I don't know whether it's my ears or canals are too small or they just don't like them. Like, it just, it just, I don't know, it drives me crazy. So I don't mind something over. I don't mind something over. Even Munchkin doesn't like things in his ears either. 
Well, that's what I, I even Pop said it's because I have tiny ears, and I'm like, seem pretty big to me, but even on the inside, so. Yeah, I just, I can't have, can't have them in there. Yeah, it would look good going around the tree and putting it in the pot. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Hildy. I think that's what we'll do. I guess they kind of give you both options here if you want to do that. So, Oh, Pop's in the kitchen. Let me go do the switcheroni. So I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to possibly finish him up and work on the uh, binding for that. I'm just going to sew it on both ways. And then um, we'll, we'll see you after, probably after dinner, because when he's done cooking, we'll eat dinner, okay? So uh, I'll, I might just uh, pop in and help him in the kitchen. So let me go switch over. Oh, maybe not. Where'd he go? Did he disappear? I think he took the bars. <laughs> he was there. Now he's gone. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, there he is. Okay, I'm switching over. We'll switch you over now. So we'll go five on That needs to be on. How about now? Do we have any audio? Okay, can Munchkin, can you mun mute that? I've got another uh, audio stream going in the in the other room, so pop loud. I wonder if there's a way I can mute this. Maybe this is what's causing it. Okay, is that better? Are you not hearing double again? Interesting. Okay, perfect, thank you. What it is, is behind the bolt. Oh, okay. Okay, so I think we have everything ready. So what's for dinner tonight? Dinner tonight is going to be um, deep, deep fried chicken chunks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a batter and I just gotta grab the chicken here. One sec. <clears throat> and we've got some chicken here. And just so you can see what the the price of that looks like. It's $18 for four chicken breasts. So it's a little expensive. But hey, that's the way food is now. Okay. I think I think I have to check on uh, the mic in the shop. I think there might be a problem with it. If you guys are hearing me loud and clear and that other mic is just not doing well, then maybe we'll have, we'll, we'll swap out the shop mic with this one. So I'm just going to put this over here so I remember. Keep it 
give that to mom for her mic. Replace your mic. For my mic? Yep. What? Yeah. Okay. Never heard in shop. Okay, so we're sounding good. Everything's good. $18 for four chicken breasts. Um, Vicki, you might leave it on the shelf, but this is what it is. That's the price it is here. Um, this is why next uh, next year we'll be raising our own our own troublemaker. I mean, <laughs> our own uh, our own chicken. <laughs> you take her out of the camera, and she wants to be back in the camera. Came in for a couple raspberries. <laughs> Uh, Elizabeth, that's actually something we're going to uh, going to look at for for Laurelin is uh, the type of headphones that rest on the bones on your the back of your head, so you actually hear it through vibration rather than through direct input into your ears. Good, 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 good vibrations. <laughs> um. Kathleen, we're probably not going to do beef. We've got a lot of people around the area that do beef, so we'll just deal with that. Uh, okay, so let's get started. Um, it's really straightforward recipe. We've got all the ingredients laid out over here. I don't know that you can see them or not because of where the camera is. But it's cornstarch, uh, baking powder, table salt, regular uh, unbleached flour, um, baking soda and water and that's going to be what is the overall um, mix for the for the batter so I'm going to make the batter first Toners, that's that's uh, sort of in the plan. So this is the flour. Um, actually, if Munchkin is around, can he get me the uh, quantity list of, of each one? Because I don't, I can't do that and watch the stream. Well, that is a cup and a half. Cup and a half of flour. One down. Salt. Salt is half a tablespoon, half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of salt. Baking powder. That should also be half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon? That looks like a lot for half a teaspoon. In that case, it's. Uh, Can you just I'm go just get the. Go get the thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord. Now you want buttermilk fried chicken. Well, this isn't going to be buttermilk. Uh, this is just going to be a water base. Um, it's something that I saw on a uh, another live stream chat, but I wanted to do something a little bit different than theirs. One tablespoon. Still looks like a more than one tablespoon, but we'll go with that. <laughs> and cornstarch. And cornstarch. <laughs> cornstarch. One more time. Cornstarch. If is four tablespoons. Four tablespoons of cornstarch. And last but not least, baking soda. Half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. And that'll give it the fluffiness we need. Okay. So that's all the dry ingredients. So 
So we're just gonna put this on low. Because what we're gonna do next is make the batter, so. We have what looks like one and a half cups. Yes. Wow. One and a half cups of water. We've used tapioca flour in the past and didn't find it to be something we really enjoyed. So, forgot the implement of doom. So we're just gonna start to make a paste out of this. This is, should be a very wet batter. all the water. I'm just gonna shut it off for a second. Get the goop out of the whisk. There we go. So one of the things that it mentions in the recipe is to not mix it too much. The challenge is, is what is too much? So we're getting there. I may want to add a little bit more water to this. Seems like it's a little bit thicker than I want. But we'll just give it a little bit more. I'm trying to break all the lumps and chunks out by rubbing them against the bowl. I don't know whether you can see that or not. Yeah. a little bit more. Happy New Year, Kathleen. Thanks for coming out today. Came out a little bit lumpier than what I like, so grab uh, half a cup more. Are we having fun yet? Has, has, have you guys been having a good time out in the quilt shop? Do you do any veggies? No, vegetables are like the last thing I think about when I think of frying things. Wrong way. Doesn't need to be exact, I'm not gonna use it all. It's getting pretty close though, so. Thank you. Actually, I might not need it. Oh, that looks okay. I guess we'll go with that. Just try and break out the, the lumps. Excellent, glad you're having fun.
sous chef cleaner upper guy. Thank you. So I'm just gonna take this off. Get rid of this piece now. Uh, can you grab that? Unplug it. Perfect. Holy fun stuff. Yeah, that snowman's just adorable, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm just going through and using the side of the bowl to try and mash up any of the, the lumpy bits. Lumpy bits. Smells like, uh, you know, that kindergarten class you had when uh, you had to make paste. That's what this is like. It smells like anyway. It's like paper mache. Thank you, Kathleen, for the donation. And Happy New Year's to Carol. I think we're good here. So I'm just gonna put this off to the side. We need to, uh, can't put it there. <laughs> There'd be a camera there. <clears throat> Stay. Okay. Clean. Got it. Now where'd my knife go? Did my knife go? AWOL. Describe the knife. <laughs> if I describe it again. That's not it. Mom just cleaned it. Did it get put in here? Yes. She said she just cleaned it. Can you clean that? Please. Thank you. <laughs> We're having fun here. We were prepared. Is, is your kitchen bigger or smaller than your old house? It's not bigger or smaller. I think it's about the same size uh, in the kitchen area, but it's just laid out in such a way that it's not great for filming. We In the other place we had an island in the center where we had our cooktop and everything else, and it was really easy to film in it. But the old place also was partially filled with quilting supplies. No, I would eat Lisa. I would uh, eat the the fruit and and chicken together. You maybe even pineapple. God, God forbid. I do like uh, sweet and sour with. Uh, Yeah, like me some some sweet and sour uh, chicken. Um, did you get your sewing machine machine from quilt shop or online? We got it from a sewing center. Are you going to remodel? Well, let's put it this way: we're already over budget by fifty percent of our our uh, renovation budgets because we weren't expecting some of the cost so probably not the kitchen this year or next year yeah pineapple's only good for certain things not pizza. and one of them is not pizza i don't i don't mind pineapple i've said that many times Pineapple itself is not the problem. It's the combination. Exactly. It's the combination, not the pineapple. So we're going to make bite-sized pieces. So these are going to be like um, one inch chunks approximately. Yeah, it's not that I don't like pineapple, it's I don't like pineapple on pizza specifically. I'm 
this is really just cut up your chunks, get them ready. We probably made more batter than we need, but maybe we can find something else to fry. <laughs> Battered apple slices? No. Absolutely can be used for fish. Um, in fact, this is defined as a fish recipe. Or we can have chicken that tastes like fish meat. No. That sounds like fun, something fine, Allison. It's not pizza, so. Yeah, I'm not sure that I would use it on salmon, but you, I mean, you can batter just about anything, really, as has been proven. Um, yeah, we're going to continue to collect uh, uh, towards 12-hour streams. It's not specifically for the shop, however. It would be for a bunch of different um, uh, different reasons. You know, we, we will use some of the money for the shop, and some of it will be to prepare for um, retreats and things like that. And in the future, we're hoping that we can use it to... Um, help bring people who can't necessarily afford to come to the shop to help bring them here. People who've been longtime fans and things like that. Uh, the total that we raised up until this last live stream is $14,000. And it has been an amazing blessing to be able to, to, to use that. I'm not sure what spring biddies is. Chicks. Chicks, chickens. So this will be a double fry, so it's going to take a little bit of extra time. But by the time the last batch is done to when the first batch is done, we should be uh, should be able to uh, start on the second fry batch. Uh, why is chicken expensive here? Good question. I don't know. Um, I know that with chicken here in Nova Scotia, because uh, when I looked into raising them, the cost of raising them is very high, so that might be why. Um, it's also very government controlled uh, in comparison to some of the other places that we've uh, we've lived. I think food in general everywhere has gone up quite high. And that's going to be our chicken. Hmm. 
now we get the fun of heating oil. So get this out of the way. We'll get the cutting board out of the way. Cast iron deep frying bucket. Well, we have we have a mainland bridge, so I don't know why it would be. Um, why there would be any additional transport costs. In fact, it's like when we came through, it wasn't like we knew that we were actually in Nova Scotia other than the fact that we had to go through a border crossing for COVID. And, and the transport trucks don't even stop there. So there's no not even any costs associated with it. At least when we went through. No, I, there's no cost. It's so this is just the vegetable oil we're going to use. And we're going to get a few good deep inches in it. Maybe. Also have a thermometer. Yeah, that that's a big that's a big part of it. We're um, I I can't see that the difference between Ontario and uh, Quebec and even New Brunswick of a um, of just because the the costs have gone up for them doesn't mean that it should go up as drastically different as it is here like the difference is between 12 12 dollars for a chicken and um, so I got my thermostat here I just want to make sure that I'm not uh, overheating the oil Yeah, I wish I could do something about it right this second, but my hands are kind of mucky. Let's see here. Hide this. Hopefully I got the right person. <laughs> there we go. I hope you weren't calling me a troll though, Deborah. I am a kind of a troll at times, but so let's Maybe get. Sorry, what did you say? You didn't want dinner tonight? get a clip with this. Did it get put in here as well? Yes it did. Awesome. Make a noise. Thanks, Deborah. I, we appreciate you guys watching out for us. Yeah, I forgot to watch chat. So, so the only real troll here is Munchkin for not doing his job. I was just remaining available whenever you needed me, perhaps. So, how does this one work?
Turn on the thermal couple probe thingy, my bob, and uh, push the button where? There we go. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks, guys, for. All our moderators are so amazing. It's it's great to have all the help we have. You realize that I'm part of the moderators. I, I do. You're giving me a compliment. I, I, I do. <laughs> I don't know whether it truly applies, but... <laughs> so I'm just going to work on this batter a little bit more. Make sure I can get some more of the lumps out. They can't see you right now. That's okay, they can see me through the little picture, right? Okay. While we wait for this uh, hot fluid to come up to temperature. So what do you all want to talk about? What's exciting going on in your world today? Well, what's exciting in my world is that we're doing a 12 hour screw today. Oh, really? <laughs> what's that like? Uh, I, I wouldn't know. Other people have been on camera all day. <laughs> <laughs> Strain the lumps out. Nope. We're not straining nothing. That that would be like extra work. We just love hearing about Nova Scotia, etc. Just finished the long arm, long arming my cotton cuts puzzle mystery quilt. Now on the binding. Nice. That sounds really cool. I like puzzles, mystery. Have you managed to get around all your land yet? Nope. We have not gotten out to the back of the property yet. Um, there's cattle on the back of the property right now, so. Um, we probably just got to make lots of noise and beeping. Scotia. The weather, while very windy, has been really good to us. And the landscape's just beautiful. We've got a really nice view out the front window. And It's a very peaceful place to live. When it warms up, will you be trying the seafood? Of course. We like seafood. Yeah. We see food, we eat it. That's pretty much how it goes for us. If I was thinking properly, I would have picked up a couple of lobsters last time I was in. 
Yeah, what'd you know? There are 12 bucks a pound compared to the 21 bucks a pound. Yeah, <laughs> lobster's cheaper out here for sure. Yeah. You did the color pearl way. Nice. Uh, I have been staying at home mostly. Uh, that I work most hours and well, my hobbies are all on the computer currently. Yeah, but maybe we can get him doing some other stuff in on the on the building stuff and having fun with other hobbies. I'm I'm really looking forward to doing some model work with with mom. Teresa, you asked if we were going to let them keep the the lease on the cattle land. Um, there's no formal lease right now, so ultimately he's just using it for the out of the goodness of our hearts. So potentially, video games, Marcus. Well, I spend my work days making them and my days off playing them. <laughs> but yeah, the plan is is that uh, there will be some formal or informal um, discussion as far as the the lease of the land goes, because we're going to be changing things to three D yeah. printing, Marcus. That is definitely on my list to do. Uh, Good, because I need a bunch of mounts made. Could you have them done by next week? I don't have a three D printer. <sighs> Buy me a 3D printer. <laughs> My son's hobbies are on his computer too, usually with intermittent swearing. <laughs> he must play Escape from Tarkov. <laughs> well, you see, mine. Exactly, the cows mine graze the grain. doesn't have intermittent swearing. Uh, it's either slight cheers of joy. Or just hanging my head in shame. <laughs> <laughs> because I know it's my fault <laughs> when I am bad. <laughs> so we're almost there. We're getting we're up around 230 degrees Fahrenheit. We need to get up to about 350. Before we start dunking in the the hot stuff, so we should. Uh, where's my? Can you wash off that platter, and I'll use that platter. So, Marcus, you never answered. Last week, where do you consider you grew up? I don't consider one place where I grew up. Grew up. I <laughs> I would say it was uh, How do I find the terms? The he hasn't grown up yet. <laughs> well. uh, computers can't answer back. That's part of the problem now. I grew up. It needs to dry. I don't know where towel is. Just use some paper towel. Okay. I grew up with my family, and that's what I've always considered it to be. I've never considered being specifically attached to one place. Because we really haven't been. No. <clears throat> the longest we stayed in any one place was in Hillsburg. Yeah. And we traveled around quite a bit. While he was growing up, 
And that's why we stayed in Hillsburg for as long as we did, was to give him that last little bit of stability as he went through the last part of his journey in school. Somebody asked, uh, what are my hobbies? Well, I used to turn wood, and at some point I'm going to get back into that. But in, I'm going to be raising the chickens and, and doing all the farming in the, on the property going forward. He so, also plays video games. I also play video games. We, as a family, have been playing a new game called Valheim. Yep. We mentioned that earlier today. Yeah. We played, um, I set up a private server for Valheim and we all play together. Well, by the way, I, uh, I made the area where we logged out a bit safer. That's good. They send out a lot of workbenches. <laughs> Allison, you're not supposed to be looking at fabric anymore, remember? <laughs> so yeah, that's, those are my hobbies right now. Um, who's the most competitive? I think it's, I think it's you. I would agree. I'm probably the most competitive. I'm not the best at it, but I'm the most competitive. <laughs> Allison, I think Allison's always in trouble because she doesn't know how to look. She knows how to buy. <laughs> Marcus, do you enjoy putting models together such as model uh, cars or sh starships? Well, if you start building starships, I want to hear about it. <laughs> uh, building starships does have an interest to me. I have a connection uh, to fantasy and sci-fi and kind of creating my own worlds, which is part of the thing that got me into doing game design. Uh, so I... I, I would enjoy putting together a model of a starship, uh, probably not entirely following the instructions, but making what I wanted to make out of it. Am I the sore loser kind of person? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it depends. It depends on the type of mood I'm in. Well, there was that one time that I beat you in Super Smash Brothers, and uh, I think it's been multiple years since we played since. That's just because I don't play the game, and we don't have it set up anywhere, and I don't... We have had it set up. Anyway, it's... I'm talking about Block of the Months and Mom... <laughs> Well, doesn't that require you to purchase additional fabric there? Allison. What are you cooking? Well, right now I'm, I'm cooking oil. I'm waiting for it to heat up to the, the, the temperature that we can fry at. Oh, I'm not afraid of it. I expect it now. Uh, more often than not, I do get beat. Uh, and I'm learning how to lose with dignity and grace now. How's that for a response? <laughs> it's good enough that I didn't say the response I wanted to. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and what's wrong with that? What, getting beaten? Or buying fabric? Nothing's wrong with buying fabric as long as, you know, everybody in the house agrees that that's what's supposed to happen. Well, if you keep making stuff for them out of the fabric, they can't complain as much. Well, they can, and probably will. 
I lose most ga most games I play. Well, the thing is, is as I've gotten older, I've started to to learn that uh, my hand eye coordination is starting to go. Um, my the speed of my brain is is a lot slower than what it used to be. So I have had to learn how to change my mindset and play at a different tier and accept that. I'm not going to be, you know, a top tier game player. Whereas, you know, even even Marcus was saying his hand-eye reflexes are slower. Yeah. Adults think too much and kids just play. True. But adults think because there's a specific goal or set of goals in mind, right? And it's driven um, by the gaming companies and things like that to, to meet those goals and to get the dopamine rush from actually receiving them and, and achieving those, uh, those goals. <laughs> Where are we at? We should be good to go with the first uh, dip and drop. So. Please don't kill yourself. Oh, who knows what's going to happen. We're going to give her a go and if it gets messy, it gets messy. Oh, it's going to get messy. Oh, so we're going to go after the, the youngest ones tend to cheat and then they realize that they shouldn't cheat. And then they, they actually build skill after that because they want the same Frequency results that they got now. when they were cheating. Yeah, I'm just trying to get the, the batter on to these pieces. And then we're going to just shake off a little bit. If we can. And then we're going to drop them in. And they're not going to take all that long in here to cook. Are there two places people are leaving comments? I'm not sure. Are you seeing comments in more than one location? They may be looking at top chat, not live chat. Oh, okay. Make sure that you've got it set to live chat, uh, Lisa Lisa. Because you might be missing some of the comments that come through. Chicken, Valerie. We're doing some deep fried chicken. We're gonna have to move a little quicker here. Some of these are ready to almost come out for the first fry. It just happens to be two different conversations going on in chat at the same time. Oh yeah. I think I found the place that we should face, and uh, I know this isn't the time to inform you, but... <laughs> do, you do you think? Okay, that's the first batch. What temp do you want the oil? Between 375 and 400. And 
the pup, are you able to give it long enough so that the chicken is done before the batter is too dark? Yes, because we're going to fry it twice. And the pieces of chicken were cut very small, so they will be, um, they will be fine. You see this piece is one of the first pieces that went in here. It's almost ready to come out. Welcome back, Valerie. It's just the bodies in the kitchen. Okay. Legitimately don't know where I'm on this. I, well, I'm assuming that she is, Cheryl, if she's actually getting messages into this stream. Yeah, she'd have to be in part two for us to be responding to her, because part one is done. The chat is no longer updated. These are looking good. Almost ready to pull a few of them out. Makes it crispy. Okay. This is a question for me. You can fry at different temperatures. Uh, depends on what you're frying and how. For, for bubble frying, like between the first and the second. Um, yeah, it's a little bit hotter on the second one than on the first one, but... So because it's... one is more for cooking the... Correct. Inside, and then the second is to make it crispy on the outside. Correct. Oops. these two out. I really love sitting here and getting to see the instant replay from watching the stream. <laughs> if you do it and then I see it on the screen. <laughs> This is a very light batter, so you're not gonna um, you're not gonna have the big poofiness that you might think. Do you batter the pieces again? No. I mean, I guess you could, but they'd be really hot. So one of the things I do know is you got to try and get some of this extra stuff out. It will burn and flavor the oil with the burnt flavor. So you want to get as much of it out as you possibly can. And then on to the next set. Let's just check the temperature. I don't think it's going to be an issue, but. Uh, I'm seeing 400 plus. 400 plus. Okay, back into the batter with the fish, except it's chicken, not fish. I'm just going to mix it up. Corn, beef, and cabbage, car and carrots and potatoes. It's snowing at James's house. Lucky James. Are we gonna make fries? No, not today. Um, I think we're just gonna have some vegetables with this. Some fresh veg, if we have any, I don't even know. Those look incredible, Dad. 
Yeah, we may not even have to second fry them. We can always try it with a couple and see if it's uh, if it produces a good effect, and if not, then you just don't continue for the rest. Looks like the ones that I ordered were from the Chinese takeaway. Yeah, basically, same similar principle. Except most Chinese takeaways have a deeper, thicker. Um, ballooning batter. I just realized you need to check them off. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Sound what? Sound go away? No, still see it there. Yeah, still see the button moving. And the sun's still going as well as, as far as I can tell. Nope, I'm just joking. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's looking awesome so far. Just remember, don't get your hands too close. It is like 400 degree oil, so a burn would be a bad thing. Everyone will be having fried chicken tomorrow. <laughs> it's really easy. And I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put the ingredients list on the on the guild page tonight maybe or first thing tomorrow. I like this batter. I like the smell. I'm finally starting to get my sense of smell. Okay, that's it. Messy. Somebody's gonna have to clean up. Glad I'm not the one in the kitchen cleaning up. <laughs> Yay! Feels like that would be mean to leave mom to do. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get some of the batter off. Yeah, okay, so as you can see right now, I'm squeezing it. There's actually no crispiness to this batter right now. That's what the second fry will do. At least that's my understanding of the whole principle. I did not get COVID. Thank goodness, nobody here has gotten COVID. I think this batter would also make a really good funnel cake. Yeah, Munchkin's a great guy. He'll make some other human being a, a, a great helper someday. Oh no, I... With my sense of smell, I had a infection that in one of my teeth that ended up spreading and kind of affecting my sinuses. And only just now am I starting to get the sense of smell back that I lost during that incident. It's still very weak, but I can actually kind of enjoy a few smells here and there now. Uh, I believe it was vegetable oil, Allison. It's a vegetable oil, yeah. But you could use canola, um, corn oil, sunflower oil, anything with a relatively high smoke point. Because you are running this at 400 degrees-ish.
because you got to get that uh, that meat cooked, right? Not sure if they can hear anything over the popping and crackling. So I did just turn down the heat because this is getting a little bit over temperature. What's that? Hi Sassolette, nice to see you. I'm just making some deep fried chicken pieces. There we go. Get all those extra bits out. Need a finer mesh. Hope every, uh, everything's going well where you are, Sasselet. You've been having a good new year. I'm sure Laura Lynn will be annoyed she missed getting to chat. I think we got two more here. Then we'll Start the. Uh, maybe I can do it all in one. Happy New Year, Sass. And thank you for popping in. It, it's very nice to see you. Okay. Guess we should check the temperature. I know it's hot, so. Oh yeah, over 400. James is back and asking for a van. Well, I'm <laughs> busy at the moment. Uh, I see. Mercy. Onion rings next. We don't have any onions. I don't think. Or I would do onions. I could do onion rings. That would be good. Hi, sis. We'll have to try that actually with this batter. Thanks for the idea. Lisa, Lisa says, quick, give me your address so I can eat these. <laughs> <laughs> you have my address. And if you don't know where it is. At least a couple times. Well, I mean, we are a business, so our address is on our business page. So you've got The world of doxing is not really a thing anymore. I think if you read clearly, uh, Valerie, the bot doesn't actually dislike pineapple. 
It's pineapple pizza that is the, the abomination. Is she specifically asking about pineapple pizza? Oh, sorry. So, Dad, if you read clearly... <laughs> <laughs> I'm working here. Shush. <laughs> Child of mine. Easy, Valerie. The bot tell. The bot says whatever pop tells it to. Uh, so, he is just spreading the word about pop's dislike for pineapple pizza. Yeah, these are chicken chicken chunks, not necessarily chicken nuggets, because most of those are bought with um, processed chicken. I don't think I can get any more in here. And there's still a few pieces left, so one more time. People are asking a lot of thought right now. What are they asking? Can you explain what the Quilting Crafters Online Guild is, please? Can we explain it? Yeah. Oh. I don't think the bot knows how to explain anything, but I can explain. The Quilting Crafters Online Guild is a is basically our fans and, and, and anybody who else who wants to join who loves quilting and loves crafting to go and share their stuff. There, we had a lot of people who don't like Facebook. Uh, I did not have COVID. This is talking about the sense of smelling. This was an infection that affected my uh, sinuses yeah. through one of my teeth and I'm just heal finally healing from that damage. How do you like communication? Is that for me? Sure. How do I like the new kitchen? Or do you like your new kitchen? Um, I, there's things I like about it and there's things that I want to change. The countertops all need to come out as quickly as we can possibly afford to do it. You see, there's, there's one thing that I, I am not... Online about. Guild, Mary George, if you type um, exclamation QCG, I think that'll get you to the guild uh, website. So, can, can I see the door? You can. So, this door opens perfectly fine. The way you would expect. Now let me check. Hmm. That door, not so much. So we got some hinges. I have about 10 cents for this door. <laughs> We gotta get some some hinge replacement. Whoever put the hinges on the doors didn't think about how doors should open in a kitchen. So they're sort of in the wrong place. In our professional experience. So we're almost done with this batch. Oh, uh, pineapples on pizza with the white sauce. Have we tried it? Pineapple on pizza is an abomination. Pineapple should not be on a pizza. It doesn't matter what color sauce or any other ingredients that are added. I think uh, that sort of... Kathleen, I'd try it. And then be I'm banished from the house. I would be disowned. Thank you, Allison. See, I'm right. But just because Sharon agrees, I'm right. Okay, these are almost ready to come out. Nice golden brown. No, in fact, I like it in other things. 
I, I like pineapple and other things, just not on pizza. He has a very firm idea of where pineapple should and shouldn't be, and that is very specific when it comes to pizza. Team pineapple, that's not such a thing does not exist. It may be one of those dark teams that, you know, only is talked about on the dark web. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been surfing the dark web again, Linda? I don't care what it tastes like, it doesn't belong on pizza. <laughs> okay, so the, the day after we had that conversation, um, this blew up in about 25 or 30 other people's chats on Twitch that, uh, that I was watching. And it wasn't, it wasn't just me, it isn't just me, so. A lot of people don't like pineapple on pizza. Yeah, this, this is gonna be a feast. A feast of chicken. There's another piece in here. I think that's a piece, tiny piece. Okay, James, you've already been timed out once. Are you going for a ban? And that, as they say, is that. Yeah, if I were that, that would likely be a situation where uh, two pizzas are ordered and uh, one person is eating outside. <laughs> Depending on where that, where Pop is, it might be him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hey, Mom. Hey. I miss that so much. I, I, I have to see her in the chat. Oh. Uh, when we have it, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay, where is the recipe for the batter? It hasn't been posted yet. I said I'll post it later. But yeah, this is going to be this is going to be amazing. Yeah, that second fry is going to fix everything up, I think. Yeah, there's no requirement yo yo to to be a paid member the paid memberships get um, early access to our videos and a few other things um, but in general uh, there's also a member video but uh, in general for um, it's just a place for everybody to come together and share it smells delicious in here yeah we're only we're only halfway through really i really want one <laughs> Oh, not cooked. Are, are, are they, they should be fully cooked. Okay. They're all less like around one inch squares, so they should all be fully cooked. Because yeah. they've been in for five minutes in the 400 plus temperature. You need a guinea pig? Well, they're not ready yet. Oh. They have to be well, double that's fried. What's with that? I'm like... I, I told you, they're not ready yet. I don't know, but it doesn't mean I don't want to try. <laughs> <laughs> There's, yeah, there's trouble. What? She only had a short time here. No, not that trouble. She, I meant you. Oh, oh, that we were talking about Satellite. No. <laughs> I mean, I had to come in and go potty. 
But, uh, Mr. Jack's done. Hanging out all cool, and my tree skirt's almost done. Come on, check it with you guys. We're having a conversation about pineapple pizza. Uh, yeah, I heard. Everybody, everybody who wants pineapple pizza that comes to the shop can go to the pizza shop and sit in the pizza shop. I don't have a problem with that. I don't want to smell your pineapple. <laughs> Why am I pizza? Yeah, we probably got another 20 minutes or so for the second batch. I try. I try to be helpful so that everybody can get what they want. What number is it for be right back up? Uh, no, that I have to go out and fix. Okay. I have to do that one. Okay. No problem. Yeah, we're almost ready for the next, the second fry. It's going to be fun. Onion rings would be totally amazing. I don't think we have any onions, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Do we have any onions? I think they would be under there. Can you check? <coughs> uh, technically, yes. We have one onion. <laughs> well, we might have enough batter for one onion if you want to slice it. On a different cutting board. That's okay. People who are trying to circumvent the bot, I can work on that too. <laughs> okay. So there's our third batch ready to go. Or is that our fourth batch? That's our fourth batch. Hot. Nope, didn't make it. Dang it! Okay, stay. Perfect. Scoop out whatever little chunks we can get out of here. Oops. And we're going to do the same thing we just did. We're just going to do it all over again. Just make sure the temperature is still okay. Sure it is. Because this is a cast iron pot, it doesn't cool off. It's well above the temperature I want it at. So we're going to start putting these back in for their second fry. Eventually I'll get smart and do what I'm supposed to do and put it in the thing here so I don't burn myself. There we go. In for the second heating. You can cut it open and look at it. Second fry actually finishes the cooking as well as um, should firm up the batter. And this is a very short duration. It's only maybe three or four minutes. Where it was 10 minutes in before. You don't want it to burn, right? It's, it's, it's very close to being done. I need to find something to put this on. And one piece of paper towel, awesome. Is this clean or dirty? Uh, dirty. Probably gonna need two of these. It's 
not even going to help. So we'll get rid of that. This, and we're going to move it down here. That's way too hot. Probably get a, a little bit of a sauce going. I haven't decided yet. I think we have some chicken sauce. These are now crispy, ready to go. And f the batter's firmed up. So may not take as long as we told the boss, but uh, yeah. Here are some onions. Here are some onions. Somewhat dipping into a ring. Hot. So, so we we'll, we'll do a couple onion ring trial. Make sure that it'll uh, work out. A really small. But it's a nice tester. Yeah, so they firmed up really nicely. I said I answered that already. I think. Um, I would not skip the second fry, but you could shorten the first fry. So they firmed up, but they're not hard, hard. They're not crunchy, crunchy. Like the smaller ones will be, but I think the bigger ones will balance that out. But if you didn't want to do, like if you were doing fish, fish is a different story than chicken. If you were doing fish with this, you could do it in one fry and then have a softer batter. This is chicken you don't want to risk it. Yeah, the, the, this is, the second part is for cooking too, right? So get that extra little bit of heat into that chicken. Yep, crunchy. What's that taste like? Mm. Sort of like Cheerios actually. Has the flavor of Cheerios. 
Yeah, it's a nice crunch in it. Well, I, I, I'm sure the, the cook will eat as much as he wants. There's a ton here. I'm gonna put these over here. <laughs> yeah, quite literally. There we go. Whoops. Ooh, hot stuff. All this work just for Cheerios. Yeah. Cheerios. I said it had the flavor of Cheerios. You can put other spices into this batter. Um, one of the things we're going to do in, the, in a future um, exercise would be to put like a Mexican seasoning into it. But we wanted to try the batter plain the first time. This is the first time we've done this batter. We've done other batters, but uh, never found one we really truly liked. I think we might be working with it. Yeah, it's really good. catch. Okay, now for the the thing that will make Laura Lynn really happy. She loves onion rings. If we can get a good onion ring batter. Oh, that's good. That is really good. Yeah, a little hot sauce in the batter would be fine. And I see what you mean with the cereal. Yeah, there's got a slight... It's not overpowering, it's just like that, that kind of... It's a memory thing, right? Yeah. It's like Cheerios, but it's not. been actually out in the shop working from what I understand. So the chicken was okay? And it was cooked? It was, yeah, it was seriously good. Perfect. You could also park cook the chicken if you wanted to, to be on the really, really safe side. We're living dangerous today. Take the, the cooked ones out and 
We'll do a double on these as well. Give these a second to cool down. They look good. Yeah, I'm sure they're fine. So give it 30 seconds or a minute to cool down. And I did turn the heat off on the oil, so I'm not sure what the temperature is in it. Believe it or not, the temperature is still fine for the oil. 375? Yeah. They actually don't even need to be redone, I don't think. No, nope, I'm going to say they're good. They don't need to be refried. So that is that. Now we have to uh, swap things out. So we're going to take a break now, have some food, and we'll be back uh, as, soon as, uh, as soon as we get there. But uh, I'm going to run out to the shop, put the B-Rack B-Ray back sign on, and uh, then we'll, we'll have our break. Before we go, do be safe and reuse our oil. Absolutely, we reuse our oil. It'll get strained when it's cold and then uh, um, put into a jar or something like that to, to be used another day. So I'll be right back. We'll uh, go over and flip over to the other camera and we'll talk to you soon. So, I think I got it over. Go. Oh, hold on, I gotta mute the TV. There we go. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, so since obviously it looks delicious because I was watching it, <laughs> it's nice to be able to see actually this, this time around. So that was kind of cool. Looks delicious. I'm excited. I'm kind of sad we didn't have more onion rings <laughs> or onions. Because had I known, I was like, ha, oh, I should have thought of that. But that's okay. No big deal. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go grab our... No? We're just going to grab our dinner. And then we'll come back. So first, let's uh, let's touch base. It's not like I was out here twiddling the thumbs or having a nap. I did Mr. Jack. I did not like how the cardinal didn't really line up. You see there's the space there. And then the space on the other side, I'll find something else to put up here. Maybe I'll actually find a, a nice pin, like a, a, a brooch or something that's a cardinal or something like that. Because he's always going to be hanging out at Christmas in the quilt shop. So I think it would be nice and special to maybe bling him up a little bit. What do you think? <laughs> Let's 
Who did you say had kitchen duty? I, I don't, not calling it there, Diane. <laughs> not calling it. Hey, 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 hey. Well, there was something cooking, but he totally turned out cute, didn't he? I stitched his little hat on just in a couple of spots, and then I stitched his little um, um, scarf to his jacket, and then his cute and a little adorable tree, all shoved in his cute little pocket. I know. I'm so happy we did, Mr. Jack Snow. So this was a panel from the Cranston Company. Um, not sponsored by them in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but it was in my stash, and I'm so glad we did them. It looks super cute. Super, super cute. I'll get his little string around his belly. I just got to find the right string. Oh, Kathleen, I see you too. But I don't want our dinner to get cold, so um, stick with us. Just go grab, grab, grab some to eat, a snack or, or something. But we will be back as soon as we get some food in our belly, okay? And I'll continue working on the binding that I was doing on this uh, tree skirt, okay? So we'll see you soon, okay? See you soon.
and one. Are we back? I think I, I think I might have done that right. I hope so. Someone tell me in the chat if we're all right. Do you got the main screen and the microphone and me? Do 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 do. No, maybe not. Maybe I didn't do this right. Uh, hello? Uh, oh, there we go. Hello? Hello, hello, hello. A feedy vibe bo. Can you hear me? Yes or no? Feedy vibe bo. Can't see. That's fine. I just want to make sure you can hear me. Okay. Perfect. I'm over at the desk because I'm going to have to fiddle with more buttons and I don't know, every leg, you know, Russian roulette. So, um, doo -doo. okay. Oh, oh, careful, Sophie. Careful. Over here. There you go. She didn't want to eat all her dinner. So, just saying. Okay. I don't think I don't know if I have anything else for you here. I do. Just one, though. All right, come on, come up over here so people can see you. No, no, over to the side, over to the side. There we go. Oh my gosh, you think you were starving to death? There we go. But not see me. Can you not see me? Oh. Can we share? I feel. I feel like you can see me, but I don't know. Where are you? <laughs> At the desk. I clearly have done something wrong. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Nup sauce here. Nup sauce here. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Unstop. Nope. Um. I don't know what I'll do with. I don't know what I'll do with. <laughs> Uh, oh God! <laughs> they were I knew you guys were probably laughing your bum off. What did I do wrong, or Nothing. what didn't I do? You didn't do anything wrong. Okay. You just don't know how to do this part. Okay, I was trying so hard. Oh, I thought I was being all like techie elite stuff here. <laughs> I still got the sound going. <laughs> I think. Because there's an overlay. Sounds going. We can hear you. <laughs> well, yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to. I was trying to do it right. Are we good? Yay! <laughs> I am new here. <laughs> I'm Laura Lynn. I'm pleased to meet you. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, no worries. I was, I was trying my best to get things to go here, <laughs> but clearly I still needed some help. So here's how Mr. Jack turned out. Mr. Jack Snow. Turned out really cute. And I just need a little button for his little lapel here. A little snap or something. You don't really even see the button, so I don't really even see the point of it, but, you know, nonetheless. He looks cute, and I like him. Leave it on the phone comb. <laughs> oh, thanks, Stitch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yay. Yeah, super cute. Super cute. And then just one day. So my question is, is with that new mic on, do you oh. sound louder or not? With the mic this way without the little fuzzy thingy, does it sound better or the same or worse or what is? Isn't he, Susan? My handsome feller. He's my new dancing partner. Or wrestling buddy. We were having a wrestling fighter for earlier. I think he won though. I think he won. He won out of cuteness. Better? Oh. Sounds good to me, says Mimi. Oh. I wonder if our fuzzy thingy is going. Sounds and just by sounds the same. Okay. Alrighty. Well that's that's a problem because everybody's saying it was much quieter. Hmm. Better or louder? Interesting. Well, it seems like we still got some tweaking to do. Look, it sounds better and louder because I can hear myself now. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. That mic might be going. Maybe. 
Yeah, he turned out cute. I like him. It's just, there's like two flies around here. They're driving me bonkers. Short trip, I know. <clears throat> All right, we'll put him up with his little buds here. We got Mr. Elf we did with his little buddy. Oh, that was a cute one. That was a fun project. Okay. Sit up there, buddy. Didn't we call him Elvis? I think we called him Elvis, didn't we? Well, this guy had a name, so his name is Jack. And then this guy was Teddy, wasn't he? I know, so original. But it was our first time doing a posable, like, bear. So it was super cute. That was super cute. I really, really enjoyed having fun with that one, too. So that's three to the pile. Mm-hmm. Indeed, indeed. And then I have here is, I was finishing up. I was, I was working while the boys were working. Uh, I got the binding done on one side and then flipped and then hand stitching, or not hand stitching, machine stitching the top of it down. And I'm almost there. I'm almost at the end. So we'll finish that. And then we'll go to this project here, which has some pins in the back. So I'm going to have to do some hand stitching. Uh, but it's, as you can tell, it's part of, you were here first thing this morning, then you would have seen the one I was working on that had the tan background, but this is another part of it. Need some, uh, need some hand stitching in the back and then add to another part. You'll see that in a few. So, isn't that cute? So we're just gonna finish that. Need some, uh, need some loving back here. Lining up and loving. So we'll do that too, okay? Getting some stuff done. So that's two things off of our list this morning was the, the other part of that or like that matches that. And then we got the Jack done. He was taking, he took a little longer than anticipated, but that's okay. He, he needed his extra time. So. <clears throat> Thank you, Diane57. <clears throat> Hello, Cheryl. Happy New Year. Hope everybody had a uh, lovely New Year's Eve and you had, got to spend it with your family or your loved ones or. You know, just partying hard by yourself. That's that's fine too. I said, oh, I suppose Miss Helly's already gone to bed, hasn't she? She's probably gone to bed a little while ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Munchkin fed Sophie, but she didn't want to eat, so. Or she only ate the good stuff. Not, 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 she doesn't, didn't eat it all like when I give it to her. So, hmm. It's like, hmm. Persnickety much? <laughs> it's not like I've given her any, uh, it was delicious. Absolutely delicious. Really light. I was surprised how light the batter tastes. And the onion rings were amazing. A little salt after they come out of the fryer would, it, they would just be like, bam, bam, a diggity. They would be super tasty. Yeah. Light, light and crisp. Yeah, it was, had some, had some good, uh, good crispiness to it and the batter had a nice flavor to it. And we're almost done this one. I'm actually, I'm, I'm glad you're here there, Munchkin. I'm sure the people appreciate it too. You got yourself a candy cane. Uh, step stool is over there, or there's that one. You can put glass right here at the end where the green is. I won't knock it over right now. Yep, yeah, right there. Thank you for asking. Yeah, but there's a couple little step stools somewhere around, around here. <laughs> she's, she's playing with the llama llama ding dong. Llama llama. She's so cute. Oh my gosh. I just told, I told tell everybody, you fed, you fed her, but she was very picky and persnickety about what she was eating. <laughs> okay, careful. No, no. 
Hello, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I bet it is. It's getting hot in there. We cooked the dinner up. <laughs> it tastes so delicious. It was. It was really good. Uh, some people said couldn't really hear a difference. Some were louder and crisper. Can hardly hear you, says Carol. Yeah, I, I'm so. Would you like? Oh, I can always just talk louder. There you go. Project. <laughs> Focus on selling. <laughs> you hurt yourself and you're going to feel guilty for at very least the next five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> just five minutes, though, people. That's it. It's, uh, the, that's the limit. Top notch, five minutes, pity pity session, done and over with. Get your stuff together and get out with your Kleenex box. <laughs> it depends whether you're not yard at fault for what happened to you. Yeah, well, most likely it is my fault because I did it to me, <laughs> so that makes sense. <laughs> All right, and that is the binding done on one of my very first tree skirts made with very memorable fabric that I think Munchkin can relate to. This was a t-shirt here that had a wolf on it. It was so beautiful and lovely and I know he really loved it. And we couldn't wear it anymore. It lived its life and no more. So I chopped what we could out of it and put it there. And then some of this fabric I, it, it is... It was worn so much that that's what survived. Yeah, that's pretty much... That, yeah, it was one of his favorites. And this is like some of the Christmas stockings we've made have this little... Some of this fabric in it. And, you know, there's a connection to a lot of things here, including the penguins. So this is my gift to Marcus for his own space downstairs to decorate his own Christmas tree later this year. Are you, are you serious? Yes, it's, I mean, uh, this was for you. I just never got it done, and now you got your own space. Oh, don't you cry, you big sappy. Don't you do that. <laughs> don't. Now you're going to make me cry. Yeah, it's Thank for you. you you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so that's for you for next year or for, well for this Christmas coming up I guess so considering it's the first of the year and you have a connection to it and it's just big enough for your space huh? yay another UFO done <laughs> I, I appear to still have some onion yeah. in my eye. and it makes a lovely little hat too <laughs> I'm okay with this <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, I'm, I'm fine with this. <laughs> oh, Sophie wants to share a llama llama ding dong. Llama llama. I'm going to set the dogs off. It, you got like three seconds to hit mute. <laughs> I'm going to squish this sucker like crazy for my dog, okay? Three, two, one. <laughs> I warned you this time. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. I was trying to get it done for you before Christmas, and then it was like, where is it? I didn't know where it went. Yep. And then now when you didn't. Reason to actually set up the tree. And when you didn't set up the tree, it was kind of like, well, we'll just put it off to the UFOs. And so there you go. I'm glad you like it. I knew you'd. you'd... I, I didn't have a reason to set mine up downstairs. Now you do. Now you do, punk. Hey, you can't tell me you got no reason now. You got all the reason in the world. And now, <laughs> if 
you want to open the presents that I get you, you'll have to come downstairs. Oh, okay. <laughs> if they're too big, they'll stay upstairs. <laughs> right? Like a hot tub but it is way too big to go down the stairs. Same with a sauna. I will find a way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good memories. They're good. Yeah. <laughs> I will find a less expensive way. <laughs> mm. I didn't even notice the squeezing. There we go. <laughs> I warned you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wider <laughs> to accommodate. <laughs> I could probably get a hot tub down there. It would just require a lot of finesse. Definitely. Sorry, little, little. <laughs> no, we're not gluing no hot tub back together. I have nothing for you. The chicken bites were great. I have nothing for you, only but Lots only love. Did an excellent job on them. I have love for you. That are you are you willing to accept my love? Feel like a Madonna song. Will you accept my love? <laughs> Come here. Come on. There we go. Yeah, big punk. Hey, chickens was awesome. Chickens was awesome. Yeah, Mine. The, the Cheerio thing is only when you have the just the batter, the Friday batter. The, the, yeah, that's why I meet mine. I'm like, I have no idea what Cheerio thing you guys are talking yeah. about. <laughs> as, as soon as you. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Sorry? Ooh. Uh, a funnel cake. I heard you say it on the sh uh, Yeah, I just had to remember. So he's a bit a mix. of a mix. Yeah. Uh, she's got some Roddy in her. Some Retriever and some Shepherd. And I would say some husky, but I'm not entirely. Yeah, sure. I kind of, I kind of do, and don't see I the husky. I say husky because she doesn't listen. <laughs> and the the curl yeah. of the tail. Yeah, the, and the. <laughs> oh, I was like, what was that? That was loud. Yeah, that was loud. Yeah, she's she's kind of a mutt. She there, she was the, the the result of an accident at a dog park apparently. So the retriever was the purebred, and which was the girl, and the the dad was the Roddy Shepherd Husky mix. So yeah, sorry about that. If you guys got that too, she steals the covers. Oh, Sophie's not allowed on the bed. Uh uh. Yeah, oops. What did you hit? What happened? Don't worry. Yeah, well, everybody else is kind of... <laughs> you hurt them, too. <laughs> Take the squeaker out. Poor, sorry, I apologize to the headphone users. That woke up my dog. <laughs> Pop blew my stack. It blew his stack. Yeah, poof. It went kaputz kapatzoed. <laughs> Uh, that would, I believe, be the wrong button. What? <laughs> I'm going to take this, okay? So we can get some work done while we're chatting. We being me. <laughs> yeah, rock bad. Yeah, here we go. Jack is completed. Yep, 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 yep. He totally is. He's hanging out back there. He looks really good. Well, we'll grab him. Make him famous. And I have a new tree shirt that I'm very happy with. He's got a cute little tree in his pocket. Snowman comes with tree. I guess. You know, if his arms were to melt, he at least has sticks. So. So I gotta ask, was uh, was Jack a UFO or a unstarted 
object? Well, <laughs> probably an unstarted object, but he certainly was one I wanted to do. So as far as I'm concerned, he's an unfinished object at that point, right? So he's unfinished, wanted him, wanted to do something fun and cute and plus other things today. So he came out adorable, totally adorable. Now I believe this, all this needs, because it's lining up fantastic. Look at all this, like this bejeweled, bejeweled on the snowflakes here. Like seriously, gorgeous. So it's pretty much lined up. I just need to, I guess, fold it just a little bit better and then, and then stitch. So. Uh -oh. Okay. <coughs> I'm gonna use my <laughs> for the moment. Yep. It's not as loud as the last one, that's for sure. And I'll take all these out. Looks like it was started. Actually, even the needle's still here. No, it wasn't wasn't by me. Okay, let's let's end it. End that one. Use my the thread I have. Not the same green, but we'll do. Uh, it won't take my tablets yet, then. Uh, yeah, we st we have two more hours left. Two more hours till the till the end. So we've been on for ten hours now. Okay, let's uh, put that there. He just might not have been saying anything. You lost the voices. Which is? Well, that's good. If, if that loud sound knocked the voices out of your head, <laughs> then we accomplished <laughs> something. <laughs> I guess it's a careful what you wish for. <laughs> Molly says, hi, Mom and Pop. I like the windows in your place. I bet that feels different. It does. It feels it does. older. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they need to be replaced and framed and uh, like molded uh, with the, you know, but the window framing. But just that we have such large windows close by in the work environment. Mm-hmm. And that is, it's really nice. It is and nice. And especially the view out of the windows is very nice. It's gorgeous. I can guarantee uh. we've been on for more than three hours. Yep. But Allison thinks you've only been working for three hours. That's what she said. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, Allison. Whoa. <laughs> So there was that whole time this morning before. <laughs> uh, we don't have chickens right now, but we're planning on eventually getting some chickens. In the spring. Eventually. In the spring. In a spring. This spring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good talk. <laughs> No, no it, you, has. it has. It's in beside the bench, and it's, I've had okay, it for good. a while. Because in the back of my brain, I've been going, where is it? <laughs> it I'm it, worried about it not arriving. No, I and came I in. I just forgot it. Yeah, you did. That's, Deborah, that's because I connected my microphone. Oh, fantastic. Where's the Pope? She's around here somewhere. Oh, she, she's sitting beside her bed. Like, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so this is the cute little wall hanging. I, I'm sure it's meant as a quilt, and it was probably a lovely project. Uh, you know, I don't know whose idea was it. Does anybody recognize it from, from anything? Like, uh, did, they, did they do this project? But uh, here's some bits. And we'll finish the back. And then I'll show you the other bits that we got to do. So 
or that we add, we got to add to. Bolt is not hooked up yet. No, uh, he's there's not. There's been some delays on the person coming to set him up. Yeah. Uh, namely, they were on honeymoon, and then uh, obviously COVID Christmas, New Year's. We should hopefully sometime soon. Apparently I'm on the list. You're on many lists. Usually the not hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That's what like many people subscription <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Don't recognize it, but it's cute. I'll show you the other piece I have as well here. Hold on. There's that part. Let's just uh, get this started. And then there's this part here. Oh, okay, okay. And they go together. Do do, am I doing that sideways? Oh, I'm doing that sideways. I'm sorry. I was like, wait a second here. Why is the stitch it? It's going the other way. Yeah, so there's that too. All sorts of mischief and mayhem than Diane 57. All sorts of mischief and mayhem. Yeah, see, you can see where from the one I started this morning, it had the tan background, had this section on it. So I don't know where the rest of it was or if that's all that they started and they didn't like it and decided not to do the rest or this was the second one there. This was the first one they did and they started a second. I, I don't know the story behind it, but I'm just glad it's in my stash and I get to show it off. So, because it's so cute and adorable. All the, all the work too, like. I love those little teddy bears and ornaments. Yeah, they're adorable, aren't they? Those and are so much work. Cake, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then buttons for eyes and enhanced stitch nose and mouth. Like, amazing. It's beautiful. So I'm so glad it's mine. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. You can't take it away. Mm -mm. I won't let you. Well, I'm glad you like it. That's why I was happy to see you in those. I said, hey, glad you're here. Share with you something I've been wanting to give you for a while. What does the cool thing UFO stand for? Trying to explain things from a sense. Unfinished objects. So this is an unfinished object. The object is to finish it. So they are applique. Yeah, the applique on there. There and with beautiful variegated thread. So like a a stunner, a stunner quilt beautiful wall like it's going to make a lovely wall hanging well that's that a uh, true cheryl i'm i'm not sure the story behind it i'm just i'm just glad it's mine i'm just going to put this here so, <laughs> so i don't have to get up i got you uh, and right, right as I take it off, I get told that I'll excuse you. <laughs> no, no, it's got to come back out. <laughs> <laughs> no, just be comfortable. Just be comfortable. Does anyone like spicy stuff? Uh, Munchkin does, James. He likes spicy stuff. Yeah, I, I pretty like spicy things. Lois was super kind uh, about a year ago, I guess. Maybe for, uh, was it for your birthday or something? She sent you know, a bunch of spicy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you tried. You tried. I think you tried every single one. I, I've tried all three of them. And, uh, he lit his face on there, fire. There was a you, you're right. I, there was one that I could handle. <laughs> Three that I couldn't. <laughs> I, they, maybe they just didn't want to, Karen. So, yeah, I know. I, and that's why I don't want it to go to waste. I don't want it to sit in my UFO pile for another two years because i think i've probably had this for two years at least uh, i want it done i want it done and be able to come and hang on uh, when it comes to christmas decorations later this year so and it, and it is a lot of time and it, and it's time that i i hope that they know i appreciate and i i and i love it i love all the work that they've done right 
that's why I want I want to finish it and be able to display it. Right. Kelly, for me, I tend to like spiciness on foods that don't have as much of a taste to me. So something like rice. Uh, I I actually really like mixing in a spicy sauce or something to it that gives it some flavor. And the only thing I like on rice is butter. Butter and salt. That's my favorite. Plain old butter and salt on, on, on rice. It has to be a certain spice. Like I like uh, wasabi. I like a spicy mayo with sushi. I like uh, a, a nice uh, heat to a hot wing, you know, and especially if you can get some blue cheese dip mm. to help with that, that, that lovely heat. The, the combination of the two is, like, amazing. Happy I thought New you went Year to bed Kathy. there, Miss Helly. I'm happy to see you. Sorry, honey. Happy New Year to Kathy. Happy New Year to Kathy. Shall I make what the events? Happy New Year. You too, Kathy. Happy big, New Year. Big hugs to you. I expect if it doesn't like me. Yeah, it's kind of more it. <laughs> Mine is 19 before the wind chill. Oh, my, Cheryl. Oh, my. It's raining there? Do you, do you need the moisture? Touching back on the blue cheese Sorry. dip. Uh, if someone wanted to affect me, that's how they would do it. <laughs> <laughs> Here, little boy, I have some blue cheese. It's not candy. <laughs> The, the truck, like the van, pulls up beside Marcus and goes, Here, would you like some blue cheese? <laughs> he's like, and he's I'm like there. Absolutely. This is just weird enough for me to be interested. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. No, I'm, gl I'm glad you were crocheting. As soon as blue cheese gets involved, self preservation goes out the window. <laughs> Kapoo. Kapoo out the window. Sweet. Hot habanero pickles by Amish Wedding, and they are, I bet they are. They light you up from the inside out. <laughs> Ooh, Dana Blue. Oh, we'll have to see if we can find that at our little uh, cheese counter. Pastina, or pasta, is that what you mean? Pastina with butter? I like, I like, I like pasta. Pasta, pasta with butter is my favorite. A little butter, a little salt, a little pepper. Mm -mm -mm. And for the longest time, I, when I used to make spaghetti sauce, I'd um, put a little pile of my pasta with butter and salt and pepper and then a little pile of the meat sauce. <laughs> they would mix, and I'd be okay with it, but I did want that you know pasta and butter flavor first you know, before I mixed it all together. But... Thank you, Niku, for the dollar. Oh, thank you, Niku. Big hugs, buddy. Thank Happy New Year. Much. How you doing? How are you doing? Oh, wish, wishing everybody the very, very best this coming year. You know, that it, everything goes your way. Things, things change for the better if they haven't been so great. Your mic keeps going in and out. Is there a short in the wire? There's no wire. There's no wire. It's right here. And I don't hear it. I, I've actually got my headset on. I'm listening to the audio. I don't hear her going Anybody in Anybody else out. hearing that? Shouldn't, shouldn't be any problem there, Carol. There might be a short in the wire of your headphones. Might be. It has been sounding fine here. Okay, thank you, Kathleen. I appreciate it. Check the weather. Winnipeg, Manitoba it is currently minus 32 with the wind chill of minus 46. Oh. Yeah, you've been around for a long time. Mm. I don't think it's been eight years, though, because I don't think we've been on here for eight years, have we? No, we have not. No. No, no, no. Is what we're coming up to. We've been our we've been seventh year on to since sixteen. We've only been on since sixteen. Six years. Since sixteen, twenty sixteen. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. So six years. Well, I'm just saying, like, and, and we're so this would be the start of our seventh year. No, this is the start of our sixth year. 
Math is bad. Right. It's the start of our sixth year. This almond dish is limoncello. <laughs> you can go have the limoncello. It's in the fridge. <laughs> Did we start at zero or at one? Six. <laughs> Why are you toying with the programmer? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. We're okay. I got gotcha. It's it, it's it's nasty. It's nasty weather. There's been a huge huge um uh deep freeze going on between northern uh BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and obviously down past those uh those border provinces into the states. Mm -hmm. Sounds great here. Okay, thank you, Diane. Awesome. Appreciate that. Happy New Year and uh, happy blessed and healthy and joy. Yeah, thank you. You too, Maisie. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. First video that made me follow mom and pop and hang in, hanging, hanging in, in, in the wall hanging. Yeah, that's a good, that was a fun one. That was, I made that for my mom. I thought that would make her laugh. It did. It did. She thought that was really funny. And that was like the first video I got in trouble for, too. Because it was one of those ones that, oh, I can see, I can look at it, and I can recreate it. And then someone didn't like my recreation of apparently their pattern and tried to get all uppity about it. And And we fixed it. Yeah, and we fixed it. Well, not we fixed it. I mean, we, we the video's still out there. But we, they, they understood that we did it differently. <coughs> Principle's still the same, but that comes with lots of things that way. Hey, for dog walker. <laughs> it was really cute, right? I mean... And I made one for my, my sister-in-law. For her and little Sarah Lynn because they were getting a little craft room get ready and I thought it would look get really cute on their wall. First she asked what it was because she didn't understand. <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> I am just dead. And she's kind of like, what is it? <laughs> I'm like, well, it's a little character. He's like trying to run away from the block. And oh, Okay, I get it. And it's okay. It fell flat. <laughs> Not, not not every gift is always, you know, as bright and, oh, it's fantastic, it's amazing. It's more like, what the heck is that? <laughs> yeah, Karen, we're very careful now about what we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why people say, you know, I love I love the suggestion, oh, we'll do, just do this pattern and everybody can follow along. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I need written permission from that person to, to do that pattern on our video without them claiming that they want all the profits from us doing that pattern for those videos or for that live stream or, you know. But, uh, definitely be jumping through some hoops. But we do reach out and talk to different pattern creators and try and try and get those patterns for you guys. And a lot of people are like, yeah, sure, you're driving a huge amount of uh, people to us, so. Uh, the chicken was great. It was really delicious. I'm stitching uh, the back part to this uh, Quilt As You Go project. I'm just uh, making sure the, the the rows are together. It can be hard to get that permission. Some people... Refuse to answer? <laughs> yep, refuse to answer. Some... Well, just they, they want any money that we get from advertising on the video. And well. Yeah, it just depends. So we've probably shelved a dozen or two dozen different quilts because the pattern manufacturer wasn't willing to work with us. And that's fine. We just go a different direction. We'll find something else. Yep. Yep. Their loss because you guys all love the patterns we put out, so or we do, so they lose out on th all that e a either revenue or b all the traffic to their site, which they get revenue from. Mm. 
I usually make a pattern for the first time for myself and make the interpretation after that. How do you say why did I buy a pattern? That's a good question. Why did you buy a pattern? <laughs> oh, Pop has that question too, apparently. <laughs> the chicken was amazing the way. Nice and light. The batter was really nice and light. Thanks for being here, Emily. Yes, thank you. Great yeah. way to kick in the new year with Appreci everybody. Appreciate you. Yeah, we really appreciate people coming to, to hang out with us. We need some cool kids around here. Yeah, unfortunately, Karen... Money makes the world go round. Yep. Money, money, money. <laughs> He's trying to drown out Laurelyn. Oh. Allison's husband. Oh. Kobakai! Sold out! Chop, chop, chop. Wax on, wax off. So, Heli, those would be USOs, unstarted objects. <laughs> yeah. I those are the panels, I guess. We can call those. <laughs> okay. So, the first row is attached, and then there's just this other row right here that we need to pin and finish sewing. It, this one, was, the first one was already started a little bit, so. But, uh, yeah, we're stitching the back of this together. Like, this is for cute. I got the right way. Yep, I like the moose, yeah. the, the the deer, Thank the moose. Thank you. First video that she saw of ours was the attic window panel. Oh, nice, 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 yeah. nice. It's super cute, isn't it? I really like it. That's why I'm like, I'm keeping this. I'm I'm keeping this, and this is going in my collection. Yeah. Need to. Hold that edge because you can tell this is a quilt as you go. See, it's all si it's all lined up there. And then they've got the batting extended down, and then the backing, so you can fold it under, get that raw edge tucked under, and then lay it all the way across the seam, and then just do a hand stitch. Just need to flatten it out. Pop a few pins in, and away you go. Selling Tampa. I was watching, what is it? Selling, Selling Sunset. That was, that's like a drama show. I, I, I said to Pop, I said, this is, has to be scripted. This is way too much like, you know, like a scripted show than anything. The, the drama that went on between the, all the, all, all, all of them, all of them. <laughs> all, the, all the crazy girls in there. That's not a bad idea there, Miss Glennie. Yeah. I'm sure they wouldn't mind whatever happened to them. So whatever's happened to the UFOs. As long as they got finished, right? Speaking of UFOs, uh, could you do a UFO a month instead of making blocks a month? Mm, probably. I have enough. <laughs> UFOs. <laughs> we we did say we were gonna try and tackle it this year. Oh, oh dear. It's all we've got on his head. You could do. Oh, oh, okay. I thought that was you. I looked at that Tracy quilt. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. I'm sure he was so cute. <laughs> I just sat with him while his parents ate their dinner, <laughs> and I sang for him. Oh, how lovely! Oh my gosh, he's so gonna know your voice like that. <laughs> Did you say we send all your UFOs to you? <laughs> uh, no, 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 Liz, no, 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 no. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> 
I, I appreciate you thinking me that way. <laughs> Cheryl, I'm trying to be quiet. I think you're mixing me up with Munchkin. I'm just naturally a quiet person. Lies. Fibs. Trick you. <laughs> <laughs> we seem to have a pupper who wants attention, so. That's nice. No, really? <laughs> Could you could you give her a little loving? She seems to be wanting it. She's kind of confused. Why are you still out here? <laughs> she wants to go to her bed. She can. Her bed bed. Oh, in the house, you mean? <laughs> well, it's past her bedtime now. It is, it is past her bedtime. Past my bedtime. No, it's usually about my bedtime. I'm having such a good time no, hanging out with you. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the day, really. Depends on the stuff I had going on. Okay, let's start off with that in the hand stitching department. So, what they do with it? Oops. Project's half done. There we go. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Projects half done. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sure you will, Miss Ellie. You, you, you'll, you'll be a big part of that little munchkin's life. He will, he will know you and love you. And it's such a, such a great relationship to have, you know. And something super special, right? Not, a, not everybody gets to be a parent and not, and not everybody gets to be a grandparent or anything like that. So it's a... And when you want it and you get it, it's just amazing. It's amazing when you get it. You know. And you want it so bad and then you'll just treasure that little one and teach them as much as you can and guide them through all the trials and tribulations of life and be the one they can talk to that's not their parents because, you know, you understand things differently or you treated them differently as they were growing up and so they can take that you into their you know confidence that way and you just never know you, you, you guys could be gr growing up together as best friends you know I know lots of people have a very close relationship with a grandparent whether grandmother or grandfather and I always I always envied that that's for sure I certainly never had it Are you talking, Cheryl, are you talking about Mar Marcus or Kent? And I've asked him to wear the mic. He won't wear the mic, so. Nope. Yeah, the, it's not like I'm trying to hog it. Uh, he, In fact, he commented the other day, every time there's two people in front of the camera, I'm always trying to pass it off onto them, so. Yeah, this is going to look for our thing. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't tried to yet. Well, besides right now. Uh, I can sense what you're leading up to. Uh, I have, I'm, what did your grandmother do? I have no idea. I had no relationship with either one of them. So, zero. I had no relationship with a grandparent. I don't, I don't know what it's like to have a grandfather or a grandmother. So, I don't know what it's like to have a dad. I, I only ever had my mom. So, just just my mom. But it's certainly something I dreamed about, having a relationship like that. And Cheryl, you should be able to hear me just fine. Less expensive option to batting, please. 
that is part of the center. Uh, you can use uh, flannel, and especially if you can find flannel sheets at the secondhand or Goodwill or discount stores. You can put that in your middle of your quilt as a batting. Oh, sorry. Just trying to answer a question. Kelly, I, I have one question for you. Do you love them? Yeah, that's all you need. That's all you need. And you got the love, girl. You got it. As long as you love them and try and be in their life. Yeah, they don't come with books. That's, you know? that's all you need. Right, right, exactly. So I'll be Bastion's adoptive grandma from Canada. <laughs> Second time, two times removed, and on the other side of the country, people. So, you know. <laughs> but you let me know. I'm there for him. <laughs> I want to do his birth announcement. I really want you to, to type out exactly how you want it written. Because I don't want to do it, you know, Canadianized, and I really want it to be, you know, the way that you want it. To, to, to look right with your grams and and centimeters and stuff and the how you want <coughs> want the date to look <coughs> would you be a super trooper and give me some water yeah. thank you Yes, please do, please do. <coughs> and then maybe this week I could do like a little live stream on, or do the, the video that um, I think Wendy was asking for about the um, setting up the stitchery and so on and so forth. Yeah, and I got some fonts for you to choose from and colors of thread and all sorts of good stuff. Lollies, <laughs> lollies and lollies and, <coughs> and grandmas and nanas just by 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 your friendship with people. <laughs> this kid's gonna be like, why do I have all these people from all over the world loving me? <laughs> and how many quilts do I need from these people? <laughs> No, I mean, it's going to be good, good, good times, good times. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, I think you have a year to get a really special stocking for him for next, for, for next Christmas, right? So have you cross-stitched? That would be really cool to make a cross-stitch one. Put his name on there in a little scene, like a, a, a classic Denmarkian scene. When are you going to make... Uh, I'll be a fur baby grandma. <laughs> he doesn't want to have a relationship with anybody right now. He's just, he's still figuring himself out. Are you kidding? Maybe, maybe at some point I, in time, but it's okay. It's not, it's not a big deal. I'm a broken mess of a human being and I don't want to put that on anyone until I've figured out how to at least somewhat glue myself back together. Well put. Not fair to expect someone else to act as my glue. Really? But there's benefits to crazy glue. Gotta love that crazy glue. That <laughs> Is this universal or not? <laughs> <laughs> not that universal. Yeah. <laughs> no, it don't work for me. <laughs> it works for that TV. It won't work for me. Your your father's already tried. <laughs> Crazy glue. Sorry. <laughs> Isn't that the ABBA song? Couldn't hear what he said. Oh. I don't know what else to do. He won't wear the mic, people, so don't be mad at me. Go ahead. Next. <laughs> well, someone else can say. <laughs> uh, basically... I'm not prepared to be in a relation. I'm not prepared to be in a relationship, so why should I try and have someone else fix me to be ready for that? I put a better approach time and place. It's okay. 
Okay, I appreciate you trying to do it again. Yeah, well, he he may consent to that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's not like you haven't tried. I recommend turning up the volume. <laughs> no, I I can barely hear you. It's a directional mic pointing the opposite direction. Oh. <laughs> I'd I'd offer it to you, but you know. It's like, you know, garlic to the, the vampire. <laughs> oh, you heard me just fine. <laughs> I hope you have fun with that, Jane. <laughs> Habanero pickle sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty hot and pickly. <coughs> All right, where did I do with my little green thread? Oh, here it is. Oh, see, there we go. Perfect. Thank you. I I appreciate that. We least, don't bug you. At least we know what to get him for his birthday. Basically. Oh. I was like, where are we going with this? <laughs> 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 the post office box is going to be full of crazy glue. Oh. <laughs> well, conveniently, I can use that for my hobby. <laughs> <laughs> the model making. <coughs> Sorry. We're getting there. Yeah, so if you if you're not gonna send uh crazy glue, send filament for the three D printer. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't use it as hair gel. <laughs> no. I I generally don't like having longer hair than this. Oh, I, I believe you, Diane. I I believe you completely. <laughs> Aw, thank you. I appreciate that. I, I would trust my mother with... The best kind. Fill them with, with sugar with and send them home. I trust myself. <laughs> well, they're just so innocent. You gotta protect them. You know? But... Got so much to live for and so much to explore in their little lives, you know. I've always tried to encourage you as a tiny human being to find yourself and find things you want to do and all of it. Thankfully, I found the many things that I want to do. And I appreciate that. Get her done. <laughs> on stream <laughs> yeah proof <laughs> that things are getting done <laughs> it's the new motto of the internet stream it or it didn't happen yeah stream it or it didn't happen not take pictures or it didn't happen it's just stream it or it didn't happen my husband and I had a really good relationship as long as we weren't living under the same roof <laughs> Hey, whatever works for you. Are you going all the way through? No, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just, that's why it's pinned at the back, or I would be just sewing uh, with a straight stitch if I was doing that. I'm just taking the, the two little, the back of the first quilt along or uh, quilt as you go, and with the folded over lip extra backing of the, the second row, and, and then just doing a little stitch through. attention. Yeah, I know. Maybe she's got to go out. No, she wants to play. Oh, wants to play. All right. Well, sorry, Lope. I know it's not what you want to hear right now. I see you in your Lama Lama Ding Dong. I do. 
But there's, there's, I say, there's two other humans that are here. <laughs> Doesn't always have to be Mama. <laughs> Please don't poke me. I won't. Uh, Ada could sleep in the bee quilt that I gifted to my son for. Oh, very nice. Aww, snug as a bug in a little rug. Well, in a little homemade, homemade quilty rug. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's awesome, Miss Allison. Bet you she's growing up fast. My goodness. She must be, what, five, five months? No, just not five months. Four months? Maybe five months? Oh, my goodness. Is she coming on five months? Oh, she's the end of August. So this would be September, October, November, December. Yeah, she would be coming up on five months. Wow. Boy, it's so fast I'm already. So she started to chomp on my hand. <laughs> I say she's hungry, but I don't know. September. Okay, so September time. So almost, almost. My goodness. <laughs> Little chomp happy. Uh oh. Four months. Yeah, so it's fast though, right? Jeez. No time at all. How do you do it remembering names and birthdays and so far? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have an answer for that. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I cannot help in this way because uh, I barely remember my own. He didn't even know what day of the week it was this week. The days blend together. <laughs> He's been on vacation for a couple of weeks, so his brain shut off. Well, my, my day is the same. I wake up, I go to work, I finish work, I go to bed. <laughs> I wake up, I go to work. <laughs> same as everybody else. Yeah. Most other people see the sun. <laughs> At least I hope they do. <laughs> it's not a life I recommend to other people. <laughs> so that's why you got windows now. Yep, I have, I have windows now. That is, that is a definite improvement. I do have a phone. Right here. Does it mean that I was paying attention to what the phone said? Nope. <coughs> it's not on Discord. It didn't happen. <laughs> Hi, Zobi. <laughs> oh, hello, Pepper. Oh. Hello. Oh. She don't want to be put in the headlock. No. Oh. Hi. What are you doing, bud? What you doing? <laughs> you want to come say hi to the peeps? Come on. There you go. I don't know what you want. I have nothing up here. You have stuff in the house. You have water here. <laughs> Hi. Hello. And you, you stressing out about something? Holy oh, patibis, back cat. What's going on? <coughs> From Chile, Oregon. Hello, cat. How you doing? Down they five paint degrees. them, Karen. Uh, um, sorry? She needs a steak strip. <laughs> hey, we could. It's not a bad idea there, buddy. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I think Mike's got the right idea there, Lofi. Yeah. No, you got to come over here. Hold on. Welcome, cat. Welcome. Oh, this boy one here. There we go, that's a nice big chunk. 
Yes, please. Are those for people, too? Yeah, they're for people. They're actually four peoples. <laughs> well, there's only three here, so that means I got extra share. Come over here. Come over here, Sophie. Come on. There we go. Nice piece of steak. Num, num, num. Your dad wants some, too. So it's Cat F's first time in the chat. Oh, welcome, welcome. Come, come, Sophie. <laughs> I almost lost my fingers. Fingers? Uh, Jillian, it's got to go. Okay, find out where I was stitching here. There we go. Uh, can you, you saw where I got him from? No, I didn't. Right back there. Right back there. No, not you. I don't have nothing else. <laughs> She's spoiled rotten. Thank you, Lois. Thank you, Lois, for unhiding. Because <laughs> <laughs> she, she saw you on her, maybe she thought she... It's <laughs> 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 all right. We'll figure it out. Bye-bye, Jolene. Her braider keeps me updated with pics and videos. Oh, what's this one about? A, a puppy? A puppy coming? Poodles. Oh, nice. Oh, red poodle pup. Red? Like, is in like, red hair, sort of? Well, obviously. Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not red-skinned poodle. Not that I know of. Unless, do they make them now? <laughs> How far is this breeding going? <clears throat> okay, no need for me. You are having it under control, so my bed wins the game. <laughs> I hear you. You are up late, my friend. And thank you so much for hanging out with us. Hope you have a great night, Allie. Thank you for being here. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, there's a video. There'll be a, a video for all the blocks that were done. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. So, red hair poodle. Well, I'd like to see you pick a picture of that. I'll have, to, I'll have to look them up. They probably don't shed, do they? Poodle, Hi, po poodles don't normally shed. Big hugs. Love you too, Miss Helly. I'm so glad you got to see little Mr. Bastion today. So excited. So excited for you to see Mr. Bastion. It's the rail fence. That one's super, super easy block. It's beautiful. And you don't have to match up. Well, you kind of have to match up a little bit, it seems. But it's not too bad. That would be this one down here. Hmm. With the green leaves in the center there. Yeah, no shedding. Yeah, I figured as much. I have seen an apricot poodle. They are very pretty. Yeah, I guess the color would be very pretty. Could that, is that what their apricot poodles and, and red poodles, are they different? Or are they possibly the same, same thing because of the color similar, similarities? You're asking me, weird level. Yeah, I know. That sounds like maybe she needed to go out or something, or. But she does, she knows that. That sensor was there. She hasn't been reacting. Hmm. Personal companion. Oh, there we go. Good, good, good. Same, same, Laurel. You're thinking about the hairs, the apricot and red. Okay, because I thought maybe it might be because of the similarity in the colors. <coughs> um, bye, bye, whoever you are. Bye, bye, troll. Boom, 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 boom. Bye bye, trolliness. <coughs> oh no, cat. That's not good. That's not good. What were you canning? I saved all our turkey bones and everything else like that and saved and put them in a bag in the freezer so I can make some like uh, turkey stock. <coughs>
Not apricot, although some reds fade to apricot, but this puppy is red. Oh, okay, okay, thanks, Diane57. Okay, thank you. I appreciate the, the, the info. It's time for the a year of hearty. Yeah, I love soups. I love a hearty soup. No worries, Alison. Oh, yeah, no worries. Pops just clicked on the draw. Hello, Miss Sandra. How you doing? Spit pea and ham. Yeah, actually, the, the ham that we we had for uh, Boxing Day, we didn't eat it all. I tossed it in the freezer so we can make some ham and, ham and, ham and potato soup, ham and pea soup. Whenever I wanted to. Ham pasta. What? Yeah. yeah, well, not you don't like it. It helped you my lunch. <laughs> you cut the ham and got me instead. <gasps> Yikes! Yikes. That's never good. Go with the ambulance. Ambulance? Yeah. Don't be a ham about this. <laughs> Shouldn't be baking fun at it. How about ham salad? Yeah, that won't fly around here. For one, it's ham not on the day that you cooked it, and two, it's that 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 other word, salad. Hey, we had onions with dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fried onions with dinner, and they that were good. Actually, as a vegetable. <laughs> yeah, technically, it, it was one onion. One. <laughs> Onion. Yeah, the, the boys don't do salads. Not, not unless it's forced upon them. Not true. Not true. Yeah, that, true ish. That is not it's all lies. <laughs> salad exists. Yeah. Caesar salad exists. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Both of them. Chicken are Caesar salad. salad. <clears throat> I made 15 bean soup yesterday along with collards. I put the put both feet in them. I'm sorry, what? what? Was that to relax or? Was it? Is that like a therapy thing? You did you serve it afterwards? Did you bean bean your feet? Uh, why did you put feet in your soup? <laughs> Lois, you need to explain. <laughs> What's going on? Why are you put your feet in your soup? Remind me before I come to your house what we're having. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to know. <laughs> I'm sure there's a really good explanation. But right now you have me worried. <laughs> You're not supposed to slow cook your feet. <laughs> I'll super glue it shut. <laughs> I've super glued things shut too. Uh, cuts. Yeah. <laughs> it's a saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. I have never heard that. And neither has Pop. We're all like shaking our heads going, what? <laughs> I think you're sticking your feet in your stew. I was like, what's happening over there? What do, what's, yeah. what, what do you Floridians do? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, there we yeah, go. That's either it. pig's feet or <laughs> chicken feet. Chicken or... feet or... That's what I was thinking. I'm like... <laughs> It's a southern thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, me a wee bit confused there, darling. <laughs> I was like, but why are you putting your feet in the stew? <laughs> the soup? The beans? <laughs> Is this a new diet thing? <laughs> I think there's a reference to putting your foot in it. But yeah. that's usually something smelly. and Yeah, you've done something bad. Yeah. That's funny. Well, thanks for the laugh. I appreciate it. Yeah, he ruined it. Yeah, well, that's what I was like. That's why I didn't take it as, you know. Yeah, I, when I put both feet in them, I really, uh, I'm sorry, but I really thought she put her feet in the stew. <laughs> He's mad about Okay, blame Joe. Okay, Joe, Joe, you need to explain yourself. <laughs> What's a hematoma? Uh, it's like a big blood blister. Like if you, um. yeah, yeah. Yikes. Uh, it looks like Miss Sass Alette, they hit a doorknob or something. She's, she's got a big hematoma too uh, on her, I think it was her arm. It was hard to tell when she took the picture. You could just really see the bruise. So I felt, I felt bad for her. I was like, oh my goodness, that, that looks like it hurt. 
I've done that a time or two. Uh, well, they use their feet for smashing grapes for wine. So what's it? Well, yeah, smashing the beans, right, Mike? <laughs> We're trying to make it like falafel quality, <laughs> or 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 chickpeas. Uh, what is no? Um, what is it? Uh, hummus. Hummus. There we go. Yeah, yeah, hummus. Thank you. We've been married so long, I can read her mind. Oh, good. This is, this is a crazy place there. Tell me about it. It's going to get lost. <laughs> Wait, where are we? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Doo -doo. We're almost done this one. And then we'll have to figure out. I don't know how it goes with the other one, but maybe we can figure it out. Maybe we can figure it out. Because I don't think they're supposed to be separate pieces. I think they're supposed to go together. I and mean, nobody recognizes the pattern so far. I fell in the kitchen, landed hard on my left knee. Ooh, ouchie. Ouchie kaboo boo. Ouch, that hurts. And finish each other's sandwiches. Sandwiches? Yeah, yeah sandwiches. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Sandwiches. No, because I can read her mind, I don't <laughs> finish her sentences. <laughs> they you could let be her Karen. Say what she's going to say all on her own. <laughs> we'll see if they look to equal size, though, right? <laughs> and then we'll go from there. Maybe I could just leave uh, them and finish them up separately. It's probably, probably not a bad idea. Hello, Brenda. Happy New Year to you and your family. I finally got to watch one of these live feeds. Well, I'm glad you're here. Conquering Mountain Scrap More with Brenda. Yeah, so I as well figure it out. Yeah, as soon as I get up there. It's already 36 here, and the wind got feeling 20, 26, uh, 24. Oh, wow. Thanks, so Patty C. They were great. All of it was great. It's all great food today. Yeah, no, the burgers and the and the chicken was really really good. Did, Pop did amazing. Munchkin did amazing. Did good for the barbecue. The barbecue for you. Ooh ooh, barbecue. Most definitely. Broke my kneecap. <gasps> Yikes! Oh, yeah, arthritis definitely sets into things you've broken before. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, that's a yikes. A yikes times ten. Yeah, no kidding. Yay, yay, yay. Did she lay down or something? Or, yep. yeah? Settle herself? Probably not. Fed up. <laughs> Fed up, yeah. Humans are not listening to me. No, and that batter that was on the chicken was so nice and light and like and crispy and it was it was like barely even on there like it was it coated the chicken it didn't like puff up around it like a you know like you would get like in a chicken ball or something like that which is mostly tiny little bit of meat and a bunch of dough or or batter so black red vine licorice Black red vine licorice. That sounds pretty good. So you like black licorice? I, I don't mind it too. Like, I, I don't mind the aniseed flavor because I get those uh, those little black balls that Tracy gives me when, when she yeah. goes to the UK. Yeah, those little aniseed balls. It just has an aniseed in the center of it. So they're, they're pretty good. Uh, but um, the, red, the red vine licorice could be just like a red licorice, right? So wouldn't actually have that dark um, molasses-y licorice kind of NC flavor to it. I actually like black licorice as well. Oh, hey, Sandra, uh, one second, I'll show you. We worked on a few things today so far. Yeah. Uh, we got a couple. Uh, you want to grab Jack? Uh, where's Jack? Is Jack back? Know. Jack back? Yeah, will you grab Jack and we can show Jack off. <clears throat> You don't know Jack. You haven't met Jack? Well, well, let me introduce you to Jack. Daniels. Pardon? Daniels. Canyons? Daniels. 
Oh, Jack. Oh, <laughs> Jack Daniels. Like, who's Jack Daniels? Oh, the, the drink. <laughs> meet Jack. Jack's happy to meet you. He's got a little treat in his pocket. He's ready for Christmas. Snazzy hat. He's better lovely early profile. This year. He's lovely dressed. Pardon? He's bit early this year. <laughs> <laughs> or he's just in time. He's not. A, he's just a, a winter. It's still winter. <laughs> he said he's ready for Christmas. Oh. Well, okay. He's ready for New Year's Day. Christmas all year round. <laughs> He's a little top heavy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to put some weighted pellets in here and then give him a little uh, rope sash. And he, it's really cute. He's got a nice little collar uh, for his uh, he needs a little button, a little bit of Velcro. Tuck that in there. Super cute. He turned out, I remember. He, he, he turned out amazing. Sorry. Do you remember the game You Don't Know Jack? No, I don't think so. It rings a bell for me. It rings a bell for you? Yeah. Yeah. Jack is too totally cute. Mm, yes, Happy New Year, Patty C. Happy you're here. I think that's part of the jackpot schemes that uh, um, you move there. Did she get in the way? Yeah, she moved into the way as I was stepping. Oh. All right. She's, she doesn't understand why we're still out here. She's confused. It's my bedtime. What are you humans doing? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Oh. It was a card trivia game from the 90s. Oh, yeah, no, I don't I I remember that one. that the Jackbox was based on that card Yes, game it was. Then. Okay. Interesting. I'll have to look her up. Jack Daniel Peach Whiskey. Oh. I'm a... That sounds interesting, Dolores. I wouldn't mind trying that. I generally don't have harder liquor. Harder liquor? Like, I... I if I'm going to have hard liquor, I prefer it mixed with something. And then it does, isn't as hard anymore. Not sure that's how that works. If there's logic there. <laughs> then there's no logic. It's, funny, <laughs> but it's, it's still there. <laughs> it's the foozy logic because of the the alcohol alchemy halls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Blame it on the alchemy alka alchemy halls. Take my fur babies outside. Okay, cat. All right, I think I got this one done. So that's another one, at least the back part all stitched up. So here's the one side. Ooh, try and flip that there so you can see it. It's got stockings, uh, the ornaments, the mittens, the snowflakes. There's even some bling on this, this snowflake. Right. Yeah, so I mean like, uh, we'd have been bedazzled bejewel like awesome and these guys could totally use just a couple small buttons for eyes and it would be bomb diggity and a cute little um log cabin here with all this lovely christmas fabric like i you've seen in my stash i've made other things with this fabric so i'm gonna ask how was oh. the lemon jelly it was interesting <laughs> i we only had it that night it was like at the end, just before uh, Marcus drank the last of what I had in my glass, it kind of was like s sniffing and drinking Pledge. It just it tasted too fake lemony. So I can see the appeal of it being cold and on ice or something like that, being refreshing, but having it warm, yeah, it, it yeah, no. Yeah, warm, it legitimately tastes. Yeah, I kind of did. Do not ask why I know the taste. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's this other one here that is finished. Sorry. And they kind of look like they're the same mesh, maybe. No? They look like they same go format. together. No, this this one's longer. This one's at least one section longer. See, look at that. That's hmm. why I put same format. Yeah. They all go together. I think they all go together, yeah. 
question is, where didn't, does... Didn't you have one other piece that sort of joined those two together kind of thing? This, this is what joins these two together. These two, these two go together. I know this, the other one was partial of, where did it go? I thought it was a candy cane and... I was looking at it this morning. What did I do with it? Is this it? Yeah, here it is. Okay. Oops. I'm going to lose the other one. Apparently See? Really yeah, I think that all goes together. Yeah, but where would this go? You could put it anywhere. But it does, I mean, it's not even the same backing. Exactly. That's what makes me think they were the start of two quilts. Hmm. This one was almost done. Maybe there was supposed to be a... Or a joint project with somebody? A tan strip down the middle. A who, what, what? Tan strip and down the middle between the two. On the back. I don't know. To me, it, it does look like two uh, two separate quilts because yeah you've got the Santa and different the same exact layout yeah yeah but different backgrounds for the top row here yeah, that's why I was saying I, I agree with uh, <coughs> Bernie is it looks like it goes on the bottom of you know you can put those two pe long pieces together and then throw that on the bottom, it would sort of look the same. You mean this to this? Yeah. And then that on the bottom? Yep. Could do that. It's okay. It would still finish it off, right? Mm -hmm. And make a lovely wall hanging when done. Ice pack. There you go. You need to get your ice pack going. Okay, well then let's try and add it to the bottom first before we add the two together. Yeah, see that's what was kind of confusing about the project. Are you sure? What do you mean? Making sure? No. I mean, it could be two separate quilts I and that just goes on the top of the piece yeah. you've got there. Yeah. Or, okay. We could do that. I don't care. Or actually, I probably like that idea a little bit better because then we can, at least the snowmans, have a little bit of Christmassy cheer under them sort of thing. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Hopefully it's the same size-ish. Yeah, it looks pretty close. Two parts of one quilt, is it? Okay, all righty. Uh, I don't have any... Oh, no, that sashing is there. Hmm... Mm. Or you just do a table runner and two wall hanging. Might be just two table runners and a, and a wall hang because I don't have that sashing that's in between. Mm. Yeah, because that's just such a cute Santa. My goodness. Yeah, just do that as a table runner and then the other two. And then finish them off. Small okay. wall hanging. Yeah, bind them up, trim them up, bind them up. Okay. All right. I like the, I like the pop side. I could maybe finish blinging them out if I ever find my bejeweler. I don't think I have a bejeweler. I'm just making things up. <laughs> we now have an excuse to get a bejeweler. No, I don't <laughs> want a bejeweler. Thank you very much, though. I'll but that's nice. At least the the pins are out of them now. I can fold them and deal with them without uh, poking myself to to all the bits, all the bits and duns. Um. All right, what else did I have going on here today? Did I have something else? Dun, dun, dun. Uh, I don't think that got stitched. Nope. I don't know what I was going to do with that one, though. Careful, that might go to his head. Then my headphones won't fit. <laughs> <laughs> his headphones won't fit. Oh, no. does have a few. Okay, the other one we were going to work on was the last few blocks that we had of the 12 Days of Christmas panel. Remember that? We only had a few more blocks to do. We got 10 Lords of Leapin', 
four birds a chirping, nine chicks a dancing, nine chickens or three chickens doing whatever chickens do, five will you marry me's, eleven drummers piping the, the piping of the pipes, and eight, and then we've got a few more. Those weren't in order. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they were either. You're mathing good today. <laughs> okay. Okay, this will be this part here. Here. Now we need our botting. Botting. Need the botting for the bottings. <laughs> Two wall hangs and table. Yeah, it'll look, it'll look really nice in the shop once we get them all bound up. The question is what to, what to bind them in. <clears throat> find, a, find a nice, like, silver fabric would be kind of pretty to highlight it all up, right? Seven swans are swimming. Pins in here. What's going on? Just winking. Just winking. Winking, winking, blinking, and nod. Just had three deer in the front yard. I found from that off after them. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, this is my land. So sad. This is the last hour. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm happy. You kind of feel that way there, Mike, and not just. Oh my gosh, is this show over? <laughs> I'm glad you guys are having a good time as, as we are. We appreciate your company very much. I think it would really make it pop, though, Karen, right? I think it would make it really pop. Had something pretty like that. I think the silver is a good idea. There is white on each of the blocks, and silver is close to white in, in color. I was talking about the other, the wall hanging ones that oh. we just finished on. But that's okay. I appreciate your, your feedback, Holmesies. I do. I mean, silver would also look close. Totally would. Let's see how it starts to curve towards me. <laughs> <laughs> Fluke. <laughs> uh -huh. Fluke. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, the question is, do I know where my free motion foot is? Dun, dun, dun. It should be. Should be. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. I, s I hate these drawers. Sorry, what was I saying? Huh? <laughs> and you realize that the guilt that you feel will be more than the pain. I wouldn't hurt you. <laughs> oh, goodness, the I drama. I you enough that if you were to accidentally or intentionally harm me, you would feel guilt. That is m more than what I would feel in pain. Probably. I was just kidding. Better be in there, right, Mike? <laughs> you better be in there. There goes the walking foot. These are really, they're, you, they seem a bit intimidating, but they're really not that bad. Um, they are very beneficial when you're doing things like binding, putting many layers, going through certain things like that. Oh, oops, sorry. There we go. But you have to make sure that that little hook gets hooked in the back. Or it can't do its walking footy thing. Okay. Have a great night, Elaine. Mm -hmm. Oh, bye, Elaine. Take care. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Uh, that one doesn't, well, it does kind of fit in there. So we'll put it over here for the moment. 
I know where it is. Don't you go nowhere. You say that, Mike, but uh, <laughs> she'd regret it as soon as she can. Yep. And I was, I was only kidding. I would never hurt him. I know. Um, I need a name for my red poodle puppy. How about Ruby? Ruby's a kind of a, a, a pretty name and would be pretty, uh, would be appropriate for your puppy. I'm going to change it to free motion quilting. Free motion. So what that does, it stops these feed dogs here from actually moving the fabric forward. It's going to do nothing with them. It's just going to stay there. Huh? Lucy. Lucy's a good one too, Deborah. I like that. You too, James. Take care. I get lessons on my new machine this week. I've never used a walking foot. Oh, you'll you'll find many benefits to it. I was really a little bit of a walking foot shy sort of I wouldn't say snob because I really didn't know what the walking foot would do or could do. And then I think it was a couple of ladies in the guild said, "Oh, I never do binding without my walking foot." And I was like, Oh, well, okay, seriously, this, this has to be, you know, a, a beneficial thing. So let's figure this out, right? And I was so happy I did. I was so happy I did. Yeah, great for quilting, even just straight stitches, diagonal or horizontal, vertical, and then binding, and even just quilting uh, thicker things like hemming jeans, curtains. It helps keep those feeding the both of those fabrics together. So, yeah, yeah. Miss Scarlet sounds like an oh it sounds love I like Miss Scarlet. Sounds like she's a a, a clue fan too. <clears throat> Miss Scar Scarlet is a great name. It is a great name. Let's take some of these guys off to the side here. Oh, bye, James. Yeah, I got a little wobbly on my glasses here. Look at that, eh? A little tiny screwdriver tightening. There is a really. Yeah. Somewhere. Okay. We lost the other part. <laughs> yeah, Scarlet sounds like a good one. Or Lucy, Ruby. What else is there? Eloise, I like Eloise. I said to Munchkin the other day, because we live near the water. I, I only because I've seen it on someone else's post or whatever. Miss Cherry, oh, that's a cute one. Uh, because of the, the red, that's a good idea. Uh, that we were going to name the next dog Shark. So I'll be yelling out the door going, Shark! Shark! <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> we wouldn't have sharks up here. <laughs> <clears throat> yep, <laughs> in the ballroom with the candlestick. There we go. <laughs> All right, so this is free motion quilting. I've got my backing, my batting, and my uh, top fabric. And it's just Lu Lucy. Oh, that's Rose. Rose is pretty one. Well, okay, well, thank you. There she is. Much, much, much. Um, and what you want to do is you have your, your top and your bottom thread. You want to make sure when you start this, start on outside edgy bit, and you want to make sure you secure it with your normal uh, pedal foot down, or uh, and then your needle down and needle up. And you want to pull the bobbin thread up so you have the two threads, okay? What well, is easy first free motion stitch to start with? Um, oh, oh yes, yeah, st like stitching. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. This is what exactly what I've done on these guys. It's all just a just a meander. At least this was a loop. Sorry, there's meanders and there's loops meander. So ginger. Oh, that's a nice one, Sandra. That's a good one. Lola. Lola. Ginger makes me think more orange. Mm, cat brandy. Everyone in the neighborhood thought I drank brandy. <laughs> <laughs> I need some more brandy. <laughs> no, that, that would be. <laughs> All right. 
Let's see. It's been a while since I did these ones, so let's take a look. Make sure I'm trying to get my tension correctly. I wasn't going anywhere in the center. I was just going all the way around the outside. And I think I started at one corner and just kind of made my way around. Flame ketchup topaz. <laughs> Damn it, a very fitting name. <laughs> he was very ornery. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good name. Self-taught sewer for years, but this new machine has many bells and whistles. And it's going to take me a while. And you probably won't still learn all of them. I've had know me for six years, and I still don't know all of what he's got to offer yet. So, You start off a few stitches, and then just kind of make sure your, your tails aren't going to get stuck down under. And make a little bit of a rat's nest or anything like that there we go and just put them put them off to the side or bird's nest okay and that's another reason why you make sure you put your <laughs> you make sure you bring your uh, bobbin thread up to the top to prevent from little nests forming in the bottom i all finally got home it was raining and foggy the entire way from northern pennsylvania to northern virginia oh my goodness well i'm glad you're home safe now glad you're home safe now lucy is your mama's name Oh, Sherry. <laughs> okay. And then there's little gloves you can use. Actually, I can show you the gloves that I have. And that's if you want to, if you're doing a lot of free motion quilting. Oh, sorry. Okay. A lot of free motion quilting. And especially if you've got a big project that's, um, you know, black and white and color or anything else like that, you're going to want to take your gloves, put them on, and at the very tips of these are, are little grippy things. There's ones that are these ones too. I've seen them with uh, Angela Walter, and she's got them. They were purple ones or something like that. And especially if you're using a white quilt, you want definitely want the gloves. And then just make sure you got your right positioning with your hands going around, and they also give you a little bit of grippage too. Um... But you will notice that the dyes from the fabric will transfer onto your fingers. And if you go to place it like more in a, like a, you're working on dark green and then you go to white, those oils will transfer from your fingers. With, so it's always good to, to, to get the gloves for sure because you'll, you'll find that all of a sudden your, your whites are now grays and so on and so forth. So, yeah, definitely get some gloves. Very handy, especially when you're first starting off doing free motion quilting. I don't know, because it's such a small project. But I don't know. I could have kept them on. No, no reason why I took them off. I just took them off. Do what she says, not as she does. <laughs> <laughs> and even pressure on the foot of your machine. Kind of have an idea where you want to go before you get there. Sometimes you're going to have to slow down. Sometimes you're going to have to speed up to keep in rhythm with your feet, your hands and your feet together. Don't be afraid to start and stop. Make sure the needle is down when you do stop, though, and and then you can always shift your project to wherever you are, you wherever you want to go. It okay. Now I've got that corner started. I can work my way this way and then work my way around. It's just so much easier. You can even lift your foot, you know, just to get get you in that happy position that you are for stitching. Excuse me. Thank you for helping so much, June. That was super nice of you. You and you, your crafter, I seem to be getting on like two peas in a pod. That's fantastic. Getting stuck at a corner. Just do a big loop and come around. Start off in one corner and end in the other if you can. I believe you can also backtrack over something that you've done to... Eh, sometimes. 
You are going to highlight the thread, though, because the thread's going to be thicker in that section. Come out of the project and come, come out, back in. Yeah, I was just going to say, come out and then just come back in at another section. It's not a big deal. There's also uh, Silpat mats that you can get to slip over your machine. And it just got this little tiny like oval hole where it punches down because you don't need the feed dogs. You just need for the hole to come uh, punching down through the machine. But sometimes they'll slip and you end up stitching them to your project. So be, be, be careful. If you can set one machine as a free motion quilting machine and another machine as your, you know, your domestic uh, sewing machine that you're working on all your projects, and that, that would that would be a handy, um, uh, lovely, uh, extra convenience. That's for sure. Then you can just leave that silpat mat on there, or even like two uh, double-sided adhesive tape it on there, or something like that. But you just need a straight stitch. You don't need anything exciting. So you can do this with one of the older older machines as long as you can drop your feed dogs. You can pretty much do free motion quilting. You just kind of want to make sure you give an equal spacing around your project. If you're going to do it dense on one corner, you got to do it all dense. So, well, yeah, well, that is, uh, sewing has brought me many, many years of joy. I've been sewing since I was five years old, and I, just, I turned 50 last month, and I've been sewing for 45 years. It started off with hand stitch making puppets underneath my mom's sewing machine while she sewed, and then it was, it, it's pretty much taken off from there, and I'm in your face today, so... I just really, really enjoy it. And it's nice that we can share the craft with people and we can connect over it and we can all just love the feel of fabric, the smell of fabric, working with fabric, starting a new project, finishing old projects. That's the, that's the new, that's the new black, is finishing old projects. <laughs> oh, 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 Hello, hello, hello. Whoa, whoa, I don't know what happened. We seem like, like, I've lost me. I've lost me. I've been here between here and there, and I've lost me. Whoa, whoa. Mm, signing off. Happy New Year, Miss Pauline. Big hugs to you. Uh, Betty, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, like I said, you guys can all thank Pop for for uh, for us being on YouTube. So uh, you see, the man's got brilliant ideas. Well, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yes, Happy New Year and 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 good night and thank you for hanging out with us. Okay, give ourselves a little bit more of a. A tail on either side. You can see where, I don't know why, it's, I skipped. I did this big, huge jump. It went from there to there. So it was a huge jump of stitch. Maybe I, I moved it too fast or something. There's a couple of stitches that are a little bit bigger in here. I think I might be needing to go a little faster, but uh, um, to kind of get them a little bit smoother. Sometimes you got to find that happy medium. you got to find that happy medium. Right. we got some binding done today. Very nice. Excellent, Kathleen. High five. Fist bump. Up up force, mm. flex. Mm. 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 Where's the gun show? That away. That away. All right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Down and up, making sure you have that bobbin thread. Okay. Sometimes if your bobbin automatically cuts, you may not get a long tail, and you'll have to kind of give yourself a little and then do up and down. Same in sewing since I was five also. Yeah, well, my mom was a little person. And, and I kid you not, little, 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 little person. A little, little person. Uh, so even the petite pants that we would buy her, she would have to hem a few inches off of. And those few inches became cabbage patch skirts and Barbie couches and Barbie furniture and Barbie clothes and, and 
dollies that I made and puppets and you you name it, all those little bits and bobs that she'd cut off the bottom of pants. I would, or, or tops too, because she, she had a short torso, so we'd end up cutting, you know, be a whole button section uh, off a top, so it wasn't, you know, hanging down past her knees or to her knees, so, you know. Yeah, so I, I had all those little bits of fabric to play with, and I had a heck of a good time playing. I learned a lot, and it, it, it drives me to the passion of love of fabric today, so. And I thank her for encouraging me to do what I wanted to do and to have fun and, and to learn with needles and, and scissors and poke and cut and, and just learn. How else, how else can you do the things that you need to do or want to do with the desire you have if, if you don't know all the bits and bobs, right? So pumpkin pie and whipping cream, yes please. Oh, I made all sorts of bar Barbie clothes, cabbage patch clothes, even the tall, what is it, the 12-inch dolls or something, or 16-inch dolls, those bigger ones. I forget, it was, I remember it was a blonde one and a brunette. I used to dress those up too, make them clothes. I had, I had all sorts of good fun, dressing up my teddy bears, my panda, my, my, you know, whatever. I had fun. And that's all that mattered. And being the baby of the family, it just it kept me busy, kept me out of my siblings' hair and out of their face and you know, they're trying to be all cool and collective and I'm just sewing away in my in my mom's room because there's the sewing room was sewing machine was in the corner of her room. So her bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> I told my husband I have another hobby besides quilting. I'm a fabric curator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Museum of thank you, Ursula, uh, Wilkinson. Pardon? Ursula. Oh, thank you, Ursula. Big hugs. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Chrissy and Velvet. Who's that, Lori? Who's Chrissy and Velvet? Mm -hmm. Tell me, Lori. My grams taught me to embroider sample, embroidery samples, then taught me to make little pillows. Very nice, Deborah. Best for teddy bears? Yeah, like all sorts of fun little things, right? Dressing them up for holidays, you know? Mm, bye, Miss Rebecca. Big hugs to you. Thank Thanks you for joining us today. Sophie's trying to fluff up her bed. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't th I think it can only get fluffier? I don't know. She seems to think so. She's not fluffy enough for her. I think you might be right. She wants her, her, her inside bed. <laughs> soon enough, Lofi. Soon enough. Well, I can honestly say these 12 hours or 11 hours and a half have gone by extremely fast. You guys have made this so much fun for all of us. Pop's been busy in the kitchen a couple times. Munchkin's been busy helping and barbecuing and prepping ingredients and getting the recipe all ready. Good, good teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. You know, work yourself left to right, back and forth, up and down, whatever makes you happy on conquering what you want to do. If you wanted to uh, free motion quilt the whole thing, then you just go through what I have that I'm not going through in the center. So the taller doors. Oh, Chrissy. Yeah, I was wondering why the Chrissy looked, uh, the name looked familiar, Lori. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, pull the hair out for long hair. Yeah, I, was a, I think it was a Chrissy doll. I don't think I had velvet, or velvet was maybe my sister's and I got it as a hand-me-down or something. Well, thank you, Kathleen. I think we did pretty good. I think we did pretty good. I think we could have got a little bit more done, but, or maybe we couldn't. I don't know. We got done what we're getting done. And I know the boys were very busy, especially Pop, so. Cooking away, making burgers, trying something new in the kitchen for everybody. It was very tasty. 
tasty experiments with pop. <laughs> Stay tuned for more, more shows. <laughs> Stay tuned for more recipes with Pop and Cook It. It's been a great day. You guys have been fantastic. Great company. Fabulous people with your lovely donations. That's, that's so bomb diggity umptious. Love it. Thank you, thank you. You have no idea how much that helps us. Pretty easy. There we go. I think I kept the stitches pretty consistent like I did on the first ones. So even though it had been a couple of months or a month and a bit at least since we'd uh, uh, partaked on these, then we'll get one more uh, ready to go. So we'll trim that up another time. Okay. That turned out nice. Uh, I might have to piece it together. I think I might, I think I might have had to. There's a few bits. That we might have had to piece. You know, just because we could have gotten more done doesn't mean we should have. True. True, true, true. This way we got to enjoy the process. Uh, if it was just work, work, work at a breakneck speed, then. Well, it doesn't leave much time for enjoyment, does it? No, true. Good point on that one. much time for interacting with our lovely viewers. We do have some lovely people. Every single one of you is loveless. Absolutely lovely. Uh, very nice, LL. It looks so easy. I'm a little concerned about the skill building time involved, though. Um... Just all I can say is practice, 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 practice. That's the only thing that's going to build your skill with anything else, like making dough and cookies and everything else like that. It just takes the time and the practice to get into it. Start off with small things like this, mug rugs. Maybe just do some curvy lines with your, just wave it around a little bit, and then maybe start doing a little putter-putter, and then maybe I throw in a loop or two or, and see, see where it gets you. You don't like it? All you have to do is take the seam ripper and sing the song, you know you know it, and rip out what you don't like. If it's the whole thing, then rip out the whole thing. I've taken, a, I have quilted, and Pop is my witness because he helped me. I have quilted a queen size quilt. It was the Cotton Candy Project. If you ever want to go back and watch that one of the videos for the Long Arm Wednesday, you'll find two, two videos. There's the first one and the second one. The first one I didn't like when I finished it, so I took it all apart. Eight months to unstitch about, just about three quarters, uh, uh, maybe a little bit over three quarters of a queen size quilt. And that was Pop helping me on weekends, uh, sitting beside me, just supporting me, just by, I got to do this, I started it, I'm going to finish it. I just didn't like the way I quilted it up. And that's my choice, right? So it's my choice. I didn't like it. I have the time and the patience to uh, pick it. The the one, our first, very, very first 12-hour project, um, I put it on the long arm, and I'd moved the long arm, and I didn't actually have enough room properly, which I should have, and I, I didn't ask for help, and it's my own fault now, uh, to help straighten out the back. And the back actually got folded in the stitching as I was stitching that first 12 hour project that we did, I think it was called the frequency quilt. And uh, it's in a bucket right there to get completely unstitched, mm -hmm. all of it. I, I was told that she'd give me a hundred bucks to do it. It's still sitting in the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> he wants more money, I can't afford yeah. him. <laughs> I can't afford I you. I can't help it if I value my time. <laughs> That's going to take a very long time. <laughs> it is. I think it was $125. Thank you very much. I'm not cheap. 
add a zero in there. <laughs> no, <laughs> not <laughs> happening. I'll do it myself. <laughs> It'll be pick apart Wednesday, <laughs> new day, till the, till Walt gets put to get back together. <laughs> pick apart Wednesday. <laughs> Yeah, so many patterns, so many patterns to to to, to even just to quilt because you could do like the ribbon candy in here. You could do circles. You could do shells. You could do leaves. There's so much you can get inspired uh, yourself to to do on these projects, right? Just you got to inspire yourself too. The piece I have is a cat bed or a small dog bed. Okay. What's going on? I won't cut you. I have a very limited wardrobe and do not want to risk it, any of them becoming uh, fabric scraps. <laughs> Yeah, save all our other little bits because we're probably going to have to piece some of that for the backing to get together. Okay. That there. I am joking. Start with 12 inch squares and keep them so you can see how much you have improved. That's exactly it, Zella. That's, that's exactly it. No, I was just, I, I don't find myself with the time to actually spend on that. Because it needs more time than I can afford to give it. Going to make banana bread tomorrow, then organize my sewing room for so, some more. Very good. Nice. At least you got a plan. Plan in motion. Got a plan, got a plan, got a plan, plan, plan. Here's your one so I got a comfy chair to sit on. Now, as you can see with this, uh, these little place mats and table runners and stuff like that that I made with this panel of the 12 days of Christmas, not all of them are the same. Six is up on the side here. Eight is in the center, seven's up a little bit there. I kind of did them all just a little bit different, but using very similar materials to, to pull them all together. Okay. So just have fun. Have fun with your fabric. That's the point. I love the design of this room. Okay. It's beautiful. It was a lovely gift from one of our fans. Mm -hmm. Lovely gift. Okay. Pick up our Wednesday. We could all save our <laughs> moves for Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, there we go, Diane 57. <laughs> Let's all cry on Wednesday together. <laughs> uh, here we go. I was given three small bags of fabric and a bag of notions. For some reason, I, I read that as a bag of onions. Um, <laughs> three small bags of fabric and a bag of onions. What? <laughs> it's going to be busy. There you go. Keep yourself out of trouble there, cat. Yeah, well, yeah. I, and try to use similar colors. So, got to go across Donner Pass into California. I'm not looking forward to doing either of them. Is that where the snow is? And then, of course, into California? California has some snow, some pretty big snow, at least where my friends are. I also had to see Rip Queen Size Quilt got the quilting done and found several pleats in the back. Well, that's exactly what happened to mine, and I was very upset. And I'm like, okay, I know better. I should have asked for help on straightening out the back because I made the quilt extra big for Papa Nice King Size Bed. Um, yeah, so it was just kind of like, oh, yeah, you drive safe there, Mike. Please, please do. Keep, keep, keep. Please take care. Yeah. 
safe and steady. Up by Mammoth Mountain. Let me guess, that's a big mountain. <laughs> Let me guess, is that a big mountain? Or is this a little mountain? A big one? A little one? I can't believe there's like only 20 minutes left. Where'd this day go? I feel robbed. Somebody robbed me of a day of work. <laughs> I feel like I got nothing done. <laughs> Done. Where, where's Jack? Where'd Jack go? Did Jack go Behind back? You. Jack, when Jack went back? Jack, Jack, Jack. Jack turned out amazing. I was so happy we did Jack today. Jack turned out amazing. You Cute Jack. the bees? The bees, yeah. The bees, the bees. That's one of my favorite projects that mm -hmm. we've done. Well, you and I did that together, for yeah. sure. Oops. And then my blossom of my quilt mess. Yep. Did he, did he go back? I know, it wasn't just me, right, Toners? It wasn't just me. I didn't think it was. Gotta go to Stickton. Too many people acting a fool on the road. Oh, no, that's never good. No, it would be Donner Summit in the... the Sierra Nevadas between Reno and Sacramento area. All of the roads going out of California to Reno has been closed all week. Oh, really, Judy? Mm -hmm. Is that because of the snows and stuff? Been working on hexagons, watching you guys. It's been great. Oh, thank you, VP. Appreciate that. Nothing keeps me out of trouble. It's my middle name. Yeah, me too, Kat. Yeah. It's a, it's a really long name, like Laura Lynn and Trouble Fulford. I mean, like seriously. <laughs> Try filling that on paperwork. Take for Eva. I really enjoyed the day too with you guys. Can't believe there's only like 20 minutes left. I agree, Joe. She has been extremely busy today. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. I appreciate that. I feel like I, we maybe you didn't spend so much time working on Jack. We could have got a little bit more things done, but I feel like Jack was a fun part of the day that I needed to do. So, and I wanted to do. Now we just need to make Noel. When it's no, you want to show off Noel? Carefully, irons on. Right there. That white. Yep. Yep. The white. We'll save Noel for another time. Yeah, here we go. Hold, on. Hold it up with the two together, please. You just didn't get a chance to base stitch that one. Isn't that cute? It's got a little, little dress that she's going to wear and a little collar. She's going to look adorable. We'll work on that one on maybe like maybe Christmas in July or something like that. We'll work on Noelle. I know. Isn't she adorable? And she's also from, I think, the Cranston peoples. What's it say? Noelle the little reindeer. Doesn't say. I don't think we got any information on here. No, just instructions, seam allowances and stuff. Oh, 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 my bet, my bet. Here we go. VIP, yeah, Cranston Print Works Company, screen print. And she's little, and little Noel the reindeer. She looks adorable. Before I grabbed it, I didn't know what this was, and I was going, I hope this is a reindeer of some sort. <laughs> it is. <laughs> With no power. Oh, because of the weather. Nope, delivering turkey, turkey meal there. Oh, very nice. Jack was a major accomplishment. He was, Karen. His hat and everything. <laughs> yeah, there's several places, not specifically in the mountains in California, that don't have power right now. Uh, yeah, a couple of Munchkin's buddies live there. I, I believe basically all of my friends don't have power. And oh, no. The ones that do have power run the generator. Right. So they're in more rural areas. Rural? Rural. <laughs> rural. 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 <laughs> yeah. I know you're trying to get me to be on it. 
can't say it. No, I can't. I can't that's say it. So. That's what happens when I try and match your pronunciation. <laughs> yeah. All I of a sudden, the he... ability to say it until I listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta listen to that word again. I forgot to say it. Sabotage. <laughs> It's a rule roll Woolworths. Where, oh, yeah. Rule. Mm, Ruddle. Rural. Mm, rural Woolworths. Yes. <laughs> yeah, rural Woolworths. Oh, no, I know. No. It's not going to happen again. <laughs> it's not going to happen again. <laughs> That's okay. I remember, I think Papa and I were dating, and he had a fan that was doing this, okay? Like it did this. I know, but what did I call it? Oscillating? I kept saying, why? Is that an oscillating fan? And he's like, a, 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 what is it? A, what is the real word, though? oscillating and I go and I, I kept saying it wrong so I kept oscillating oscillating fan <laughs> he's like I have no idea what you're talking about but does the fan do this yes <laughs> that was, I, was, I just couldn't say it right <laughs> well I thank you Taylor it's it's once you get the hang of it it's you know it's 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 pretty good it's pretty good it's pretty fun nice They are sturdier. Thank you. Thank you for the twelve fun twelve hours. Happy New Year, everyone. It has been better than twenty twenty one. It has to be. Ed, I I agree, Zella. It is. Freehand is relaxing onto your into your happy zone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My dad was growing up, and he came to a word he couldn't say he'd substitute with steamboat and kept on reading. <laughs> that must have been some really interesting stories. <laughs> All of a sudden, blah, 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 steamboat. And you're like, wait a second, I thought this was a land story. Mm -hmm. We were talking about, like, critters of the forest. All of a sudden, steamboat. <laughs> That's funny. Rural, rural and Woolworths. Some words you just got to say a little slow because you just can't get your tongue around them. It's like supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Those are interesting ones, like aluminum or aluminium, depending on where you're from. So. Tracy can't say binoculars. Binoculars? I could see that one being a tricky one. And especially if you have an accent and you're not used to like rolling an R or an H E C or something sound. It's just sometimes it's just really hard for you to get your mouth around that word or try to pronounce the letters the way they're supposed to be or try to be, right? I couldn't say convertible. Thank God my boyfriend didn't own one. <laughs> Good one. Roofless. Roof <laughs> roof. <laughs> yeah. Worcesters. Worch Worch Worcestershire Shosh. <laughs> I have a Southwest UK accent. I sound like a farmer. <laughs> a farmer? <laughs> we're just, just to shy or shosh. You do something like that. <laughs> well, that's Worcester sauce. Worcester sauce. Worch, yeah. worch, Worcester sauce. But my brain keeps trying to go into Worcestershire. Worcestershire? Yeah. <laughs> I can't even say that. Worcestershire. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Do you need a Kleenex? <laughs> Good night. 
Kathleen. Thank you for watching with us. Yes, take care. Oh, 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 are we bobbing? I think we're bobbing out. Are we air throwing? We were a little bit, but that's okay. I have another one. I have another one. Just gotta open this. I know there's probably a trick to it, and I, I just don't know it. What's this here sauce? <laughs> What's this here sauce? <laughs> it's a Bourbon Hillbilly. My YouTube name tells you all about my accent. It's a Bourbon Hillbilly. <laughs> No, no, no. Wooster sauce. You need the, don't, don't need the shear. <laughs> Wooster sauce. It's like a rooster. I like to think that I'm pretty good at pronunciation. For a lot of complicated words. <laughs> and then I'll somehow, in the middle of a sentence, mess up something really simple. <laughs> yeah, done that. Like book. Book. Yeah. I was tempted to pick Rory that, that, to uh, name one of my kids, but figured if I did, he would he would have trouble saying his R's. Sure enough, both kids did. No way, you really, Lee? He was like, I can't say my own name. <laughs> That's okay. I was uh, one of my nieces. Um, I forget. I think it was Mackenzie, if I'm not mistaken. Um, she used to call me Annie Warwin. Because she couldn't say Auntie Lorlin. She couldn't say her L's very well. And uh, so I became Annie Warwin. Annie Warwin! Annie Warwin! <laughs> Instead of Auntie Lorlin. <laughs> That's why when my girlfriend Sandra's kids, you know, couldn't say Lorlin right away, they started calling me Lowly. I'm, I'm like, I'm fine with that. Don't, don't worry about that. I'm fine with being called Lowly. Lowly works for me. As long as it's said with love. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I got some. What is there? What is there? Specific. specific? Yeah, or specifically. I completely understand that, and that leads, that, that has led to some irritating times for me, uh, in the past. What has? Uh, cities that have a different pronunciation than the way that things are actually spelled. Yes. I have nothing to throw at you at this moment that wouldn't cause harm. <laughs> Less than 10 minutes? What? <sighs> we barely got any work done today. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I don't think I can make it another 12 hours. <laughs> there has to be some serious candy involved. <laughs> Keep me buzzing. <laughs> Oh, 
walking around. Been in the house like four or five times today and kept forgetting to grab a cup for it. Oops. It, it didn't like that. It didn't like that at all. To Willa? Oh, wow. Yeah, I would never have called that to Willa, that's for sure. A little jam up under there. Just kind of yank up the threads a little bit and pull. Oh, we got a definitely a mess. What happened here, bub? What happened here, bub? Oh, boy, we got a couple of eyelashes over here, too. Oh, all those ones I just did, I'm going to have to rip out because my tension was wonky in the back. That's okay. I'll do that. Not right now. That's okay. We're done for today. Oh, I must have hooked on the bottom or something. Like, looks like we've got two threads here. Yeah. Oopsies. I'd go right about here. Here and down to where I just ended. Okay. You don't have to do that, though. I'll get the okay. I'll do this. Well, I'm not the one that made the bobo. <laughs> Team Ripper, Team Ripper, you're my best friend. Team Ripper, Team Ripper, right to the very end. <laughs> you gotta start it. I'll start now. This one, I'm gonna cut on here. Okay, yeah, we'll fiddle with that later. Not right now. Right now, it's just gonna make me mad, and I don't want to be mad. So we'll just we'll just do this. Well, yeah, for some reason I got um, I guess I must have looped or something, and it made a little bit of mess on the back. So Munchkin's gonna uh, pick it out. So, but I don't want to just start fiddling with the thing for the last five minutes of the live stream. So I want to be able to. You know, say thank you to everyone for hanging out with us today. Thank you for keeping us company and spending, starting your new year off with us. And hopefully we have been able to encourage you to get in there and finish up some of your projects you've been holding on to or maybe you've been hiding in the closet and you found it as you were looking for Christmas wrapping paper or something. So... <laughs> Who... Uh, who Who's going over to so yeah? We probably will. We'll probably go pop over and say hello. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, Gwenny. Appreciate it very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you for keeping us company today. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Suburban. Thank you, Cheryl, and Karen, and Mike. It's been a fun, productive day. I think we got some stuff done. I think we got some good stuff done. Barbecuing up some patties for dinner. Take good care. Happy New Year. You too, Miss Allison. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you, thank you. Big hugs. Thanks for the great day. Thank you, VP. Appreciate you. Auction off the Shelf of Shame products. Uh-oh. <laughs> shelf of Shame? Why are they, why are they, they shelf of shame? I don't know. <laughs> Great day. Only one more block to finish of the QOV. Very nice, Donna Faye. Fantastic. Congrats. Mm. Good jobbins. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Orders people. Oh, okay. That makes, that makes, that makes sense. Okay, I was trying to figure that out. Thank you, toners, for clearing that up. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Tracy Quilts. Thank you very much for hanging out with us today. Zella and Ella. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, like the name, that's fine with it, right? Gotta love it. Oh, thank you, Kat. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Be sure to clean under the bobbin. My machine was making those exact noises, and that's what I had to do. Probably as soon as I get the bobbin popped out. It seems to be kind of wedged in here right now, and I don't want to fiddle with it. So, 
There's on the table. You enjoy, Miss Dolores. Thank you for hanging out with us today. We greatly appreciate you guys and the company, and you're just hanging out and chatting and sharing your life's adventures. We're all we're all in this big little blue green planet, so let's do the best we can. Thank, Thank you, you for, for starting off your year the right way, hanging out with us. Oh, you heard it. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> Yes, I had a good time. Thank you, Kelly A. Thank you for hanging out with us. Yeah, I hear so many. It's a good, happy one for everybody. Absolutely everybody. Hope it's a, a year for the record books that everybody's, everything's coming up roses. Thank you, Tony. Appreciate it. Thank you, Joanne. Or whatever flower if you don't like roses. <laughs> <laughs> We should be here on Tuesday for Cross Stitch Tuesday. We're going to continue working on the Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Work on the presents on the other side, maybe. Work on that a little bit. I haven't had a chance to touch it since uh, we, we took that little break to spend with the boys while they were on their week off between Christmas and New Year's. I mean, New Year's, or uh, before Christmas. So, yeah, Christmas and New Year's. I'm sorry. The, huh? Thank you. Thank you guys very, very much. I greatly appreciate it. And if we'll see anybody who's in the So Yeah chat, well, we might see you there if they pop up something I'm interested in. Like scissors. <laughs> or somebody's secret stash that they didn't want to buy and I like it. <laughs> I suppose you do have clothes. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I have room now. Exactly. Night, night. Night, night, June. Thanks for hanging out with us so late. It's like well past your bedtime. She's a party in all that June. What time on Tuesday? Uh, 11 p.m. Eastern. 11 a.m. 11, 11, oh, sorry. That's 11 a.m. <laughs> yeah, I do that at midnight. Sorry, 11 a.m. Eastern. <laughs> sorry. The late night quilting dough. <laughs> Sorry, not the PM, the AMs, the AMs, <laughs> the mornings. <laughs> now, I now understand why military is used for twenty uh, the twenty-four hours. Yeah, no kidding, right? Yeah. I said twenty-four, and then second-guessed myself when I said that. Oh, oh, oh! First yawn. Oh, we're done. Sorry, everybody. Come see my pop. No. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs> Thank you.